All right, guys. Hey, welcome to the Gamer Hole Podcast. Is that the name of this thing? Yep, yep. You're good. Okay. Welcome to the Gamer Hole Podcast. You know what it's called. Uh, You've been on is... it twice. <laughs> Steadily getting larger and larger. At first, it was just Aqua, uh, Sudeki, and Kings. <laughs> And now it's it's turning into fucking Slipknot, where there's like eight members. Um, <laughs> and now that we're talking to like, uh, you guys are streamers and stuff, right? Sturdeck, he's a streamer. Aqua is now abandoned YouTube. And what do you mean? Z I upload Z more than you do. <laughs> Z I'm talking. Z I, I'm hosting. Uh, look at that vein on your forehead. Holy shit. Don't make fun of my vein. It's Dude, just when I laugh. Was, it keeps them alive. You have like <laughs> lateral light coming in. That I have like... bad lighting for my vein right now, dude. Yeah, bad vein lighting. Ah! Uh, anyways, since... <laughs> Dude, that thing's intense. Holy shit. I know. You know why? What? It's because I got a so smart. There's a lot of blood is? going to my brain. A lot of thinking yeah. that goes on there. Yeah. A lot of blood coming from your brain, probably. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's a void. It's a desert. And there's no blood in there. It's dry. Yeah. Anyways, when was the last time you guys made an episode? Have you guys covered the whole like Twitch with the with the uh, you can't say virgin or simp or anything like that? We haven't talked about that. No. Yeah, we didn't. Talk I about forgot that. about that. Yeah. <laughs> Good you thing you're here. People, yeah, you can't call people incels either. Or virgins, yeah. Or did yeah. you say that already? I said that. Cuck yeah. is okay though. I, that's what I was. That's what I was gonna get at. Yeah, you can call people. I mean, cuck, that's so. like the tried and true. That's the OG of like. Yeah. That kind of thing. So like, I still got it. I think the problem is is that simp, virgin, and incel indicate that you're not having sex in a negative way. <laughs> but Cuckoldry's like, I'm fine with. A large, <laughs> there's, a large going on. there's something at walk. ease about being a cuck yeah it's like no, no it's fine i'm not having sex but my wife is having a lot of sex and that's cool with me those have to be the calmest <clears throat> motherfuckers on earth they don't oh, worry about well, anything <laughs> yeah. yeah have you ever seen those cuck videos where you could tell this is their first rodeo and the guy is like not this is obviously her idea <laughs> <laughs> The guy's like, is this what you want, honey? Is, is everything okay? And he's she's like, just like, like holding her hand. And he's like, this is nice. This is yeah. great. <laughs> he's like, this kind of feels like I'm watching the love of my life get <laughs> piled dry by four guys. I'm not so sure I'm okay with this. <laughs> I'm having <laughs> second thoughts. Yeah. You, I, you can't see their face because like the cuck is always the guy holding the camera. So you just see the regretful hand. Like they always try to hold their hand. <laughs> so it doesn't feel His so wife, much like, like slapping the guy's hand. Yeah, like, no, they get the hand away. <laughs> just unless you're gonna just choke film. me. Just get film. out of here. Yeah. Just get out of the hotel room. Just get out of here. Don't even <laughs> film it. I'm living in the moment. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so Aqua, how are you gonna refer to your audience now that you can't call them? Three of the things that you would use say... to refer to them. <laughs> are gone <laughs> stripped from the playbook you know i don't know man i i like to belittle them as much as possible you yeah. know me i'll probably just call them cucks because that's still allowed yeah why not that's the, yeah, that's the one thing <laughs> nah uh i want to ask you like you seem to have <laughs> seen a lot of these videos <laughs> you seem to be like to the point where you're starting to like psychoanalyze the people on the screen and like yeah. really get get in their shoes and understand is that yeah. like your favorite genre sam uh no but i spend a lot of time watching pornography <laughs> I in general I, okay to the point where now that you've brought it up i realize i might have a problem <laughs> yeah. the amount that I, I watch one of the most devastating things that's happened to me recently was Pornhub removing all those videos oh they deleted yeah, like, like half of their million like over half their library right? there's like yeah. 2 million videos left and there was like 14 million when it started oh my God. and then they got rid of all the all jerk the, off instructionals and all the classics all, gone all the motel <laughs> cuckold and porn and yeah it's all gone and like that, it was my life is in shambles now. All I have left is my wealth and my wife and my children. I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you just said you don't I'm need a download. Of a anymore. man. <laughs> Gods, I was strong back then. Yeah. Back when my bookmark tab was full. 
<laughs> My folder is dry. You know, yeah. <laughs> Those memes of the guys who will like collect porn in like folders and and mm -hmm. archive it. Yeah. It's not so funny anymore. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. People used we to make laugh. fun of dudes to download porn in 2020. No, we, yeah. Yeah. Not oh, anymore. We can just watch it whenever we want on the yeah. internet, you fucking we idiot. We laughed at you torrent guys that were always just <laughs> torrenting porn. Like, why would you? It's just one click away. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's not one click away. I'm you know? very guilty of being that guy. Just... Pointing um, fingers at the download. No, no, not. I don't oh, download. I love, I love no, <laughs> point, download, yeah. I, I belittled those that did download. I'm I like, are you insane? Did. You have yeah. to have. You, there's got like you're way too into this if you're downloading stuff. And now, who's laughing now? <laughs> you know, Look at my collection, a fine edition. <laughs> <laughs> then again, I feel like most of the stuff that you torrent is not the stuff. Is someone holding a gun to your face, like off camera, Aqua? Is it what's so distracting over there, <laughs> dude? You pick up on every little thing. You it's just very bright I'm and honest. Have a conversation with some friends, and you spend half the time looking off into the. It's so fucking bright because of the, the snow. I'm look. just trying to think like how I can deal with. I just always do that. I don't know why. Have you tried? Shuffling? I don't like looking at you, Sam. <laughs> what can I say? I just. I need a break every two seconds or so. Yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah all right well hey, you guys got any other topics of conversation or you want me to fucking keep bulldozing through these <laughs> we talked about what porn and saying cuck every once in a while that's what we've gone through so far yeah that's that's basically it look we like to freewheel this yeah like to come Wait, on, this someone no at the front door there's 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 an urgency that he seems to have that that we don't share i don't it's... know i don't know what's wrong with him he's so he's so alarmist i think we like should, i think we should just keep i think we should keep going without him and when he comes back he can just jump in let's just remove him from the call we've we've already <laughs> Exhausted his topics. Sully's gonna be editing it, and all the cameras are gonna like shuffle again, and he's gonna be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> oh well. Let's um. I'm kind of upset that Aqua doesn't have a Santa hat. I don't own one. We I didn't know you guys were gonna be wearing one. He said that you know, well, it was supposed to be yesterday. It was gonna be like a holiday thing, you know, some sort of Christmas. I uh, yeah. I'm, this I'm isn't little... my faith, Kings. Respect that. <laughs> no, true. Sorry. Well, I this is a holiday thing, so do you have any holiday? Would you like me to get the like, dreidel? A dreidel? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dreidel on hand? No, I don't have that either. Do you have like a little, uh, the little beanie, the little, uh, um, yarmulke? Yeah, let me see what yeah. I got. I'll be right back. One second. Let me see what I got. I really hope Aqua comes back. Stay oh, tuned. Beanie, a beanie and a yarmulke. <laughs> I forgot what they were called. You know what they are. <laughs> oh, look. They're fucking, look, they're fucking swapping out. They're tag teaming the fucking. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? We have the same chair and everything. Oh, he's back. I got to go. Oh, wait. No, he's still here. All right. We told, him, <laughs> he's to gone, he's a, we told him to go get a yarmulke so that he can <laughs> fucking fit in. <sighs> what is that? How many uh, Diet Cokes have you had today, Sam? Uh, this is my second one. Yeah, oh, two. that's not bad. Yeah. No, I had lunch. And then, um, yeah, I had lunch and, and I had Diet Coke with it. And then now I'm I'm sitting here just talking with some friends. I figured. Is your desk just like an array of empty something to drink. Diet Coke cans at this point? Uh, okay, so I have some wings that I ate. <laughs> <laughs> I got an empty pie tray. Because <laughs> my life is in shambles. Uh, I got the gamer's favorite uh, melatonin. Oh, um, I got that my too. George Costanza mug. Do you you a classic. You like walk out to your desk to get the melatonin to go back to bed. And then I have my no. I crack it while I'm playing my. Okay, so this is my my nightly routine. I don't know if you guys have a routine, but uh, you know I spend all day recording, editing, whatever. But then there's always everybody always has that one game that they play to just relax. And my 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 wind down game, my after dinner mint, is uh, League of Legends. I play Aram. I can't get do nothing. I can't get away from this shit. It's everybody plays Sam this plays game. I can't. Yeah, yeah. I play I play, I play Aram I play every League night. As well, so yeah. yeah. And then I um, expect that from you, Kings. <laughs> but I play like two or three, and on the third one, that's when I start cracking these bad boys. Mm. <laughs> And by the end of that last one, I'm sitting here a little bit sleepy, 
And then I go crawl in bed and lay horizontal for uh, for several hours. What is that, melatonin? Yep. Yeah. What holiday item did you get, Aqua? We're all very excited. Oh, yeah. I couldn't find anything holiday-related, but I found this turkey burger. So oh. it's not, well, it's that's not why I went down the street. Yeah. yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Close enough, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, are you? Do you guys fear for your jobs now that their uh, VTubers are coming in? And, <laughs> and if I can't beat the VTubers, them. I'll join them, man. If it gets that yeah. bad, that's what I'm saying. I'm what I'm is the VTuber? A and getting one made. All right, that's somebody explain to the old guy what a VTuber is. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's like a. It's it's like a digital overlay. Can you speak up. He has a hard time hearing. A <laughs> Aqua, it's a digital overlay that turns you into an anime person. Yeah, and then yeah. you just stream as you're at your anime avatar. Like like he's VR chat. He's comprehending, I think. <laughs> kind of, but like, he's thinking. You're just sitting in a room talking to your stream. Yeah. Are those more popular than normal actual people now? It's it's a bit it's a huge thing in Korea, I think, in Japan, and then it came over to America with a lot of like there's like one really popular woman that does it, and then there's a lot of others that are now doing it because I don't know because I, I like guess it's that I like that girl who like made her own like digital setting and she's like in a room and she interviews people like on her TV screen in front of her. She's fun. Mm. She's a fun a one. AI Angel? Is that who you're talking about? I don't about? fucking know her name. She pops up uh, on Twitter. That's that's the extent of it. <laughs> for she's me. like a more like Western one. Usually, if, it, if these VTubers are usually like anime inspired. Yeah, it was and, very more Western. That yeah. One. And you can have like there, there's a obviously some voice changing going on so that they <laughs> look like they're uh, or they sound like they're like anime girls. Yeah, My and then and then Steve. like the the camera cuts out and you see like this old dirty man for half a second. <laughs> that's what I was, that's what I was getting at. <laughs> Get this, this is like the like we're a bunch of nerds. Let's admit, right? Mm -hmm. We play video games for a living. And kings, you don't play video games for a living, but you whip people that play video games for a living. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> Uh, it hurts. You're a nerd wrangler. <laughs> and <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> it, my friend Steve bought, he spent $22 on a deck of cards that were like a VTuber deck of cards, custom cards. And I guess they're like Pokemon cards, like trading cards with the hopes, $22 for the hopes of getting a holographic autographed card okay. from this VTuber. And I'm like, that's not even a real fucking person. You're Wait, getting how an autograph from for? someone yeah. that doesn't exist. It's a fat Asian guy with a with a motion tracking suit on <laughs> and a voice changer. It's Sam. not even a chick. Sam, are you seeing how these how much these Pokemon cards are selling for right now? The, the unbelievable cards is a thing. craze. That's its own thing. Wait, this is like if you release years, one, you're gonna be laughing all the way to the bank. All right. The only person laughing all the way to the bank is this fat Asian guy that has a VTuber. <laughs> that Steve buys thing. his cards. That Steve is the only idiot that bought his cards trying to get an <laughs> autographed version from a fake persona. His signature is like old, like poorly written, like old uppercase, like chicken scratch. <laughs> no, it's not even. I doubt it. It's probably a stamp that he got made from a graphic designer, just like that VTuber <laughs> overlay. None of it's human. There's nothing human about it. <laughs> And Steve's there with his money. You say that, but I bet somebody would buy a fucking Aqua FPS looking ass like Pokemon card with Aqua's like signature on it. I mean, Aqua's a real guy. You see <laughs> in his like webcam, you can see that's a human. You can see the pain in, in his eyes and the regret <laughs> People from leaving his, his previous real estate job. He could have owned the world and he's <laughs> fallen into con content creation and he's. It's just a world of pain in those eyes. I would like to get an autograph from that man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's like getting an autograph from a vet. You know? <laughs> After war. <laughs> <laughs> I've really been through it. Yeah. You know? He's been through the... He's had to move apartments. He had to downsize. And he, you guys remember his old layout for his stream. And now look at this tiny, cramped little yeah. one-bedroom one apartment. He's in hey, I got a, like a door, though. <laughs> like, yeah. I got a, the door goes straight out into an alley. Yeah. It's, no, it's out into an alley. 
There's dumpsters on either side of that door as soon as you go out. <laughs> He's finally been allotted a window so he can like see some light for a few yeah. minutes each day. <laughs> That's why I keep looking. I'm amazed. Honestly, I'm just getting used to this. It's beautiful out there. Skyrocketing. <laughs> there aren't people fighting or pissing anywhere. <laughs> like it's it's gorgeous. <laughs> Please. But I heard you were gonna do like a streamer house thing. Am I allowed to talk about that? Is that yeah, I mean I mean it's How not hear about YouTube. all this stuff. Yeah, we're looking into it like, uh, you know, just uh, trying to see if people that work online that don't have to live in a area, you know, a specific area, move into a place and we're we'll going to like get really exactly. low cost of living type area. Well, no, it would be high cost of living. <laughs> Actually, oh, really? like a complete like slumlord kings puts everyone in like a rundown. Like. <laughs> no, 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 it, it, a, get a nice house in in uh, in South Dakota. <laughs> Or something like I don't know, it's probably gonna be high cost, but like we're gonna be able to supplement it by having them help out uh stuff with the company so they won't have to pay as high rent. Mm. So like if they needed extra money on top of streaming, they could work and help us out with other things. Take out the gotcha. trash. Yeah. No, not that kind of but like <laughs> online media stuff, but yeah. Yeah. Cut up an apple with a little peanut butter and bring it out for everybody. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Snack time. The more Snack you time. feed kings. <laughs> then he just spends his days on a chase lounge in the living room, and <laughs> you can come by and feed him grapes. And I'll, I'll, like, I'll be over there like with a the banana leaf. Yeah, it's, it's your turn to fan kings. <laughs> he, he gets hot, ball. you know <laughs> that. He assigns you to like a Harry Potter house, and then he gives you points <laughs> depending on how. How well you pleased him. If you end your stream too early, you get like a re <laughs> massive reduction in points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You haven't hit your five your five hour quota. <laughs> Could happen. Turn it back on, Aqua. Now that you're telling me all these <laughs> turn it ideas, on. I need to write them down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, uh what were you looking at uh getting <laughs> you want the address of the yeah, exact, exact house addresses? Yeah. No, it's uh, just gonna be like a massive place. Like, have you noticed most YouTubers? They spend all their time doing YouTube, so they have very vacant houses, homes, just yeah. very spares. I'm very surprised yeah. when I see like stream, like very successful streamers or very successful YouTubers, and their their room or their office is like one desk with like a TV or or, or a screen and a light, yeah. and then just like. What Blank. else do you need, really? That's all they do. Need. Well, no, yeah. like, usually they'll have, like, a lot of stuff in whatever room that they do, but the rest of their house is just fucking oh, yeah. sad. It is just mm. empty. Remember that <laughs> Spears, that Spears guy, Spears the Amazing? He, he, no, no, it wasn't him. It was that partially royal guy that always just, like, looked like his house was, like, I mean, are you expecting people to come by? Are you trying to sell it? Like, are you, it like, it was, like it was staged, you know, it was just empty. And then uh, and there was uh, that critical guy, Charlie. Yeah. Penguin Zero. His house is just fucking empty. Yeah. I, Except saw, for I saw one of his videos. Seven foot he was, dildos. He was like he has. He's, <laughs> filling he's a, a room dildo with, collection. with like ball pit balls. And his house is just like desolate as they're yeah, like walking empty. through. Yeah. I'm like, do you guys not have a life outside? I know he doesn't. He doesn't have a life outside of of, of making videos because he makes like fucking 48 in a, a day. But it just, I don't think I could just do this day in and day out for uh, 12 hours a day. I think that's and, what happens when you acquire a lot of money at a young age. You don't, you have, don't <laughs> you, like, you don't, you and don't like one room like, in the house is, gets a lot of use, <laughs> a lot, yeah. like more than it should. And the rest of the rooms kind of, they're not important. You know, <laughs> you have yeah. a lot of extra rooms cause you have a lot of money. You bought a big house and that one room, like, honestly, like any streamer or YouTuber is probably perfectly happy in like a two room situation, kitchen and like computer area. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You guys sold shit in your computer area right yeah of course just little <laughs> oh in the kitchen zichum you fucking monster <laughs> dude garbage disposals it <laughs> ever heard your that expression you shit where you eat where you eat <laughs> there's a reason for that stupid okay the garbage can is actually in between my office and the rest of the kitchen so i just as i take that corner i just do like a tokyo drift with my ass out <laughs> <laughs> and just plop it in there and he keep like going. He hangs it over the ledge as he like yeah, rounds just it. Just hang it over. 
Yep. <laughs> and do my business. And then I carry on and get some food and come back into the office. And now that you guys say that, I'm kind of disgusted at how much time I'm in my office and not in another I, part of my house. Dude, I've resigned myself. I've just acknowledged that I'm never going to make it to like, you know, like that level. Like, for example, that, that, uh, that, what's his name? That critical guy or, or, mm -hmm. um, Markiplier, like those guys, like this is what they do day in and day out. And I saw a quote from, um, James Cameron who, whether or not you like his movies, he's like one of the best directors or most, I guess, uh, successful directors of all time. And he was like, if you get in, into directing, then you better just dedicate your entire life to it because if you don't, other people are going to and you're not going to be the best. And that translates over to YouTube <laughs> because <laughs> there's people out there that just spend like fucking 18 hours a day just sitting at their desk editing making videos doing mr beast shit what do you think mr beast does when he's not making videos he doesn't have he doesn't have a fucking he's, wife or kids or anything does he videos yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy can't have like any sort of outside the career life like his life is his career you know yeah it's, de it's depressing when you think about it but at the same time, he did just open 300 restaurants across the Yeah, <laughs> you know, That's pretty fucking cool. I don't know how depressing that is, actually. Yeah. Like, he yeah. can retire at any time, I think, and then have yeah. all the life he wants. Well, I think yeah. he could have retired, like, years ago. Yeah, he's burgers. the king of burgers now. Look, who, what are you? Fucking glasses angry guy? <laughs> That's <laughs> like, it, really. That's yeah. all I got. Don't, yeah. don't try to strip away my armor. That's what I have. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm glasses and angry. <laughs> the only two things I have left. Without that, I'm just uh I just got a loving wife and kids. I got nothing. <laughs> you don't even have your porn anymore. I just keep reusing that same punchline over and over. <laughs> have you guys had the burger? No. Uh, no. Of course Dude, they didn't you... bring it to Tallahassee. That's I not ground zero for nowhere, restaurant man. places. Where do you think I got this? Is that is that oh, Mr. Yeah. Beast? Wow, burger? that's it, huh? Wow. He put a fucking soft pretzel as a bun. I'm upset. This is his homemade baby. Oh, it is. Never mind. I just I just disrespected your your wife's cooking. <laughs> hey, we talk about Tallahassee. I've I've driven through Tallahassee before. Um, they got really nice street sweepers in the city. God, that's what we're. <laughs> this known is for. like six years ago, but yeah, like they are high tech and clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're actually. That, that's about the only. Oh, when you said street sweepers, I, I had, was, like street sweepers are. I was visioning like just like children out there with brooms. Like well, that's how it is. Right? <laughs> we, they literally have like them. giant dump trucks that they put like yeah. twenty guys in the back of, and they all pour them out and they sweep. We, they we import out, like, Eastern Europeans with, with <laughs> push like... brooms, and they just they sweep the <laughs> the streets. That's what we do. <laughs> no, I I know what you're talking about though. They do. I think those the street sweeping company or whatever has like some sort of crazy deal with the the uh, the city. Because I've never seen a city get their streets. I drove like, in the middle of the night. And it was just like that was all I saw was a bunch of street sweepers. That's why yeah, it stuck out in my mind. They, yeah, they go crazy around here. <laughs> I thought it was normal, and then I went to other places. I was like, why? Why aren't there street sweepers everywhere? <laughs> you know, for a state with no income tax, that sounds pretty pretty nice, pretty luxury stuff. Yeah. Well, it's well, Florida, we have we so. have tourists, and we have Disney. <laughs> And we have mm. lots and lots of drugs that pass through this state. This, part of the, state. <laughs> this state's known for its drugs, and it's got 23 million people. So, lots okay. of Ta lots of money floating around. Tallahassee. At least our streets are clean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we, I think, we're the capital of chlamydia for the U.S. Wow. Kind of our claim to oh. fame. Yeah. Florida. Is that a fact? Stank ass <laughs> pussies. Those are the two things. <laughs> Oh, and Burt Kreischer went to college here. I think that's the other thing. Man, my parents just moved to Florida. It's not sounding good for them. Really? <laughs> not, mm. not a... <laughs> I don't Why want to come back with chlamydia. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think... They don't catch it. Believe it or not, you can only catch it if you have sex outside the marriage. So, unless you your just... dad's... Really in the I thought maybe he's the guy in Florida and you get it, and that's just how no. it is. They he could be the guy in the video, the yeah, holding hands. <laughs> oh, god, have you guys ever found Sorry, any, uh, naked, naked pictures of your parents or anything? Or no, no, have, have you had a bad walking experience either? No, yeah, no, you haven't had like a walking in on your parents having sex type thing, no, no. 
Yeah, me neither. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me right, neither. Next topic conversation. All right. <laughs> I don't know yeah, what I they were nothing. doing. I walked in, something <laughs> weird was going on. I, I still, to this day, don't know what they were doing. It was, yeah. I don't know. Please el elaborate. Maybe, I don't maybe, want to. Maybe I... we can help you figure it out. <laughs> was it was it the muffled sounds of your dad going, is this is this okay, honey? Is he being too rough? Can I hold your hand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was another guy there. I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> there were so many cars parked out front. There was It was like a party, but there wasn't like a damn soul in the house. The door was closed. Yeah. yeah. This is, is wild. It was like some kind of party that I wasn't invited to. I don't yeah. know. It's weird. Mm. Yeah. Why is that is this, like? Has this been too dirty for a, a, a gamer no, hole podcast? No, no, no. Why is that like predominantly a male thing? You know, what? why do you never see like this female aspect? Like, are you enjoying yourself, honey? Of like a a woman recording it. Um, Sam's like, I see that all the time. <laughs> what do you mean? It's <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Most of them were deleted the other day, but. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's a great question because I remember my folder for uh, <laughs> male cuckoldry was substantially larger than female cuckoldry. So, hmm, I don't know. We're going to have to get a – could we get a psychologist on this as like yeah. a consultant? I Add one more square to this fucking podcast. Yes, though, to be honest, like yeah. you can get some really in-depth stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lady that messaged me on – Twitter and she was like, I'm a marriage counselor. Oh. And I feel like you and your wife could really benefit from me if you want to have me on your <laughs> podcast. Oh my god. And uh and then I I made fun of her for like an entire paragraph. <laughs> and so now I'm not so sure she'd be willing to come on. You don't have podcast, a real but, job. <laughs> but that's as that's as close as I could get to like being a psycho. No, I asked her, I was like, Are you married? Or did you just study the very thing you want most in this world? <laughs> <laughs> Because she was kind of young. She's like, no, I am married, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to yeah, trust that's... a marriage counselor who's not married. Yeah, like... that's not married. Like, that's the worst. Like, when people don't have kids and they try to tell you how to be a parent, like, that's the worst. Yeah, what do you know? Or, or the, yeah, you know what the absolute worst is when you guys have kids, when other people have kids and, they, and they're like, oh, just you wait. And it's like their kids are just slightly older than yours. <laughs> Oh. And so they're like, I've seen it all. I've seen it all. I'm like, really? You've seen it all? Because my daughter shit her pants, put it in the fucking washing machine without us knowing, and then we washed the clothes. And my wife put like it's a, a front loading soup. washing machine. She fucking opens up the front, and there's like this. She like pulled it out. It looked like a halfway melted <laughs> Snickers bar in her palm. She's hey, like, listen. Put I'm, an entire I'm third eating in the here, machine? even though I, it's you, very rude of me to be take dead. a bite. All right, Let I'm trying to be my daughter polite. taking a shit in the washing machine. <laughs> even yeah. though I shouldn't be eating, I'm eating here. All right, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> uh, this is saying. this is a little bit back to the Pornhub thing. So I was thinking, mm -hmm. we just had like the great clip purge of Twitch, you know, like two months ago or whatever, where everybody had to delete their entire histories. Yeah. What was the process that the Pornhub guys had to go through to choose all the videos and delete I, them? I think all it was like un eight million any unverified user. Right. Yeah. Lost their videos. Uh, okay, I wasn't. Uh, so okay, they were just like. So now here's the question. Check unverified Sturdy. delete. Yeah. Here's here's the question. Let's say me and you move in together. We want to get some residual income, so mm -hmm. we start smashing each other's asses, mm -hmm. filming it. And then we're like, hey, let's start doing Pornhub so we can get – what is the avenue from going from, like, entry-level Pornhub user and uploader to verified? There is no avenue That's from that. Big problem. There's no more class mobility on that on that thing. Mm. It's horrible. What, what is the – it's not like Twitter where you have to be verified by them. Don't you just, like, upload your license or some shit? No, I think, I think it's like you have to just link, like, a phone number or some or some shit. Oh, I think I the you, barrier. To I thought entry, you had to have. I thought the barrier of entry was like. No, it's like extremely low. It's like oh. just. I, I, I think, think you have to verify, verify that yourself. you are who you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That there has to be oh. some yeah. form of like, if you upload child porn, we can <laughs> forward this to authorities. We have some <laughs> way gotcha. to like. I thought verified was like you. This isn't horrible, gross, nasty <laughs> porn that nobody wants. I'm like a five, you need a five star rating. Porn creator. Yeah. Imagine if you were like the verified guy on Pornhub. You go around, <laughs> you're like, oh, 
these guys yeah. know what's up. People like me. I mean, yeah. You're like, oh, disgusting, <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> yeah. I you would have we, so much power. I figured me and Sturdecki would have to come up with a highlight reel and send it into Pornhub <laughs> HQ. You Much know how like you get verified. tape for skateboarders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> finally, finally got that check mark, guys. Everyone's yeah, like, oh, I you finally got, got it. You, you got would verified. not believe what I had to go through. <laughs> you would not believe what had to go through me to get this, <laughs> to get this verified <laughs> check mark. <laughs> We put a fucking song <laughs> on Power Man 5000 in the, <laughs> in yeah. the video. Yeah. What is it, really? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that they like had like teams of dudes going through millions of videos, and I was all like, my God. No. But all right, yeah, that, that makes That would sense. be a depressing job. Yeah. I, I was like, man, I stressed out it? about those clips, but that's different. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been have you ever been on Pornhub and you you like um you can sort by rating and then you just go to the very end of the last page. So you're looking at the lowest rated stuff. No. This was supposed no, to be a holiday. Job. This sounds terrible. This is, is supposed to be a holiday special. <laughs> you got a holiday special. Holiday, 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 you can't best. do that anymore. All right. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you guys about a piece of the internet history. All right. Continue. I don't mean to interrupt. Positive. I'm just, I'm just no. saying you guys were. You want to change the subject. No. Please continue. It wasn't it's just good. Funny. That's all I'm saying. All right? It wasn't yeah. good. It was people like uh, I'm looking at a row of faces here. It was people like us. It would be like if one of you had the hubris <laughs> to say, "This fucking is good enough to go on Pornhub," <laughs> and then you upload it, and then it gets really bad votes. It was just so normal and average. I'm like, why did you even film it? Like, why did you? You know. Go, yeah, but, but anyway, so let's get into the but, holiday spirit. <laughs> do they show face? I feel like a lot of that amateur stuff, they're not willing to show face. It's just like taint, puss, and... It's it's usually just really fat people. Is what <laughs> and there's a lot of sweating, and there's always like kids in the background. Like you hear what? them on the other side of the door. <laughs> Like, oh, you hear SpongeBob yeah. play. Yeah. You hear, you hear fucking Dora the Explorer. Damn. Like it's realism. Playing. That's huh? realism. Okay, it, that's that a is sub genre. That's what like, does it for and me, that's man. coming yeah. from a guy that like I am all over amateur shit, which is why this is so devastating to me. Mm. That's the actual <laughs> amateur. Like, even the I amateur want, stuff is like not. That was amateur stuff. I want amateur where they like put forth like some effort. Like they they, you know. they hire someone to take care of their kids for two hours. Yeah, <laughs> where yeah. it's something. Do it during nap time. I don't fucking <laughs> care what. But uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, uh, Christmas stuff. Uh, yeah, Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, no, take me back to Pornhub because <laughs> I've had this discussion a lot of times. You know, there's the there's the meme about brother sister thing getting stuck uh -huh. in the washing machine and so on. Yeah. yeah. How did that blow up? Because in my opinion, I never went on Pornhub and searched up fucking my stepsister. Yeah. And yet, and I, and I, it's all got to be an algorithm thing. So I feel like they would, you know, like on YouTube, I look up popping videos. I see a bunch it's, of popping video things all the time. It's the Minecraft of porn. <laughs> it's like the biggest boomer. But everybody plays Minecraft. Not yeah. everybody looks up fucking your stepsister. Here's the thing. Yes, they do, Decky. You might not, <laughs> but that's what everybody no, else is looking believe, for. I don't. I. That's I, what they there's click at least. Category. I mean, now I definitely do, mm -hmm. but originally I did not. Yeah, it didn't even. I feel to tainted you. because I've like, been, I've like, been man, forced into, into it. It's all there is. I'm all like, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Gil, raw dogs, hot, strong brother, and I used to be like, dude, what the hell is this shit? Get it out of here. And now I'm all like, oh, dude, stepsister stepping is stuck in a cabinet. Here Classic. we go. You know Here we go again. We <laughs> started with like children yeah. because like no 30 year old man is like thinking like, God, I want to fuck my stepsister. This is like, you don't live with your parents anymore, right? You don't have that like. <laughs> I just don't know how the category became the behemoth that it is to where they always have it on recommended shit when I didn't ever do anything to get that on my <laughs> recommended. You know what I hate is that they always, like, transcend genres. So, like, I'm really into, like, watching something very specific, you know? Let's say, like, I'm, like, really into 
uh, like tits or something like that. And so I'm looking here and I find like this great video where everything's perfect. But then the title is, you know, I don't care if these two are fucking related. Like <laughs> that's, that's not it. I'm here for the breasts. And then the and then she's fucking her steps. I don't care if they're if it's her fucking dad. I don't. That's not part. Of, that's not what interests me. I'm here for the titties. <laughs> but they always try to like plug as many yeah, things as they're possible. They're just playing the algorithm. Yeah, and so yeah. they're cramming it. And, and the I doubt these two are even fucking related. I want to see. I'm just saying, if <clears throat> porn, Pornhub's going to go for this whole like verified thing at the beginning of every verified stepsister thing, I want to see people hold up their fucking IDs. And birth certificate. <laughs> Family trees. I want people ancestry DNA. So I want to see it all to verify that these two are related before you put that bullshit in the title and fill up my my goddamn incest category on Pornhub. You're flooding it with fake incest. And it's, uh, frankly, I'm tired of it. <laughs> he wants that real love. That is that yeah. Real shit. Wow. I want I'm those two to look I'm very not going to take it anymore. <laughs> yep. Wow. And that's why Game of Thrones was so successful. People just couldn't get that realism oh God, on Pornhub. <laughs> <Fuck. laughs> I hate get that off. show. I hate Three it. Podcasts in a row of this guy ranting about Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, dude, I have a I have a brother in law I was talking to, and he he went off to college, right? And he's doing incredible like shit that the the five of us couldn't even figure out together if we put our our brains together. And he's he's like literally being a rocket scientist. Right. Okay. And he went off and he I asked him about Game of Thrones, something about Game of Thrones. He's like, oh, man, like right before I went off to college, uh, I think it was the end of season four. I got to the end of it. And when I get finished with college, I'm going to I'm going to finish watching it. Oh, and I said, the, I said the poor. you know, just leave it where it lies. Yeah, yeah, really. yeah. Let <laughs> it kind of ended at like the last high note of that yeah. show. Just fucking chill. The you you could pretend like man. it ended right there. Yeah. Thank God. I don't know he what went happens in season four. I think that's like. <laughs> Jamie loses his hand and everything, and like just pretend uh, like it's done. That's about when they stopped having like source material to work off. I think yeah. season five was was source material. Yeah, and then right. yeah, and then the other ones just. So I guess he could watch season five if he really felt like it. All right, we but... subjected them to thirty minutes of Aqua ranting about Lord of the Rings superiority last time. <laughs> uh, really? so... you seen one of those people. You want to see something fucking depressing about Lord of the Rings? Have you seen the the Hobbit? Is it like Sir Ian McKellum uh, in the green screen room? Falling asleep? That one? No, not him falling asleep. Like You've seen the one the of him just like, he like completely just passed out yeah, waiting he's, for he's, his He's, he's an old man. Leave him alone. And he's dressed as like Gandalf too. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, like very and wholesome. And then they said, how he's like, they said action and he goes like, <laughs> <laughs> like he wakes up. Yeah. No, the first, uh, the first Lord of the Rings movies, they were all done with forced perspective, right? Where they would move yeah. Gandalf's yeah. old They'd ass closer to the camera. Yeah. 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 Um, but the Hobbit movies, they didn't have any time or anything to like prep. And so they just, <laughs> yeah. So they just put Gandalf like in a green room and they're like, do your lines old, you old fucking man. And they poked and they had like Andy Serkis <laughs> fucking going like, just fucking like, do it now. Do it. Like and cattle he was like, him to like say his lines. Apparently they brought him to tears on set. Cause he was like, he it was just like months of him alone in a green room having to pretend like he's <laughs> acting with people. Every and now and then so they gave him like depressing. a guy in like a gimp suit, like a green, like with like the ping pong balls on it. <laughs> no, they they had um, isn't that the guy's name Andy Circus, the guy that played Gollum? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, that he was like the co-director or whatever, and he mostly worked with him. And I've seen the behind the scenes footage. It was just him off camera, going, "Okay, now look angry. Okay, now." And now he says the lot. Okay, now do this. Uh, to your left, he's saying this. So kind of twitch and like, the, he's like, what the fuck is this? This is like the worst <laughs> acting experience I've ever had. And then, uh, yeah, that, that was just really depressing. Wow. Sad. That's yeah, sad. That's very sad. <clears throat> Aquas, yeah, love for Lord of the Rings. Did you like the Hobbit movies? No. Okay, good. I was making sure we were on the same yeah, page on that. No, yeah. It does. Um, but yeah, that that's why uh, the the Hobbit movies were so bad. They I, a they they made them too child friendly. You know, it was like yeah, it's a children's book, but like we don't want that. No one wants that. Come on. And B, it 
they did it all in green screen, which is why it looked like General Sam's TFT video when it was done. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> I enjoy it for there. what I'm it not, is. Not insulted like, at all. No, that's a compliment <laughs> to your video, really, yeah. honestly. But yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I think The Hobbit was good for what it is, which was something to watch on a four-hour flight for free. It was what yeah. The Hobbit was. I saw the... In that making of thing, I didn't realize this, but they had spent years doing pre-production for Lord of the Rings. And then when it came to do The Hobbit, apparently Peter Jackson wasn't even a part of... And that's name, Peter Jackson? Yeah. 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 He wasn't even a part of this thing. And then all of a sudden they like brought him in and they're like, you have like four weeks to get ready for... <laughs> and he was like, what the fuck? And because like production had already started with uh, Guillermo de Toro or some shit, who was the the director... And then they ended up just having like sets halfway built and they were apparently it was just he was just working like 21 hours a day, sleeping three hours a night, doing just every day. It was just constant and they didn't have any pre-production done. So they couldn't do all that, those weird camera tricks. So they just had to green screen everything, everything. It was literally we'll we'll fix it in post <laughs> like that. That was <laughs> yeah. the entire movie was we'll <laughs> fix it in post. Yeah. Yeah. That's how they did the new Star Wars is too, I feel like. And like everything now. Those were a little better. The yeah. Hobbit was bad. And you know what my biggest gripe with that was the fucking Goblin King. He had just like a normal guy's voice. He just sounded like a dude <laughs> named David. <laughs> like yeah. what the fuck was that? Have I you hated guys that. Seen the uh the Mandalorian, how they use a bunch of like L C D screens like the the dome? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. is so cool. Yeah. yeah. Cause then what you don't get like the fucking uh situation where you got this guy just like talking to a fucking wall. At least you can see like yeah. you know where I he need is to watch and, that. Like, what's going For on. The production side of it? What do you mean a dome? They they like, use screens. They actually... Like they create a big dome out of fucking screens. So instead of having a green screen behind them. They can see what what like their uh, surroundings are supposed to look yeah. like. But that and actually makes sense. That's pretty They went dope, back yeah. to doing like the the puppetry. Yeah, they had some actual like, props yeah. and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So it, instead of like filming on location when they're in desert or doing like, you know, like a, like if Kings turns his head a little bit, you'll catch like the green screen like in the glass. You know, yeah. if you're yeah, keying yeah. all that stuff, it's a pain in the ass. And the Mandalorian has shiny armor. And so it'd be like green reflections in every direction. Yeah. And so they're like, look, we can either film on location, spend a shitload in VFX, or we could make giant dome of RGB LED screens. <laughs> and so they never, just, I never heard anything really about that. I need to look at that. It's cool. dope. Yeah. And so they have, it's like, it has like a big like garage door, and then they just bring in kind of like the foreground set. So like if they're in the desert, they'll bring in like a shitload of sand and like some rocks and stuff, and they'll act on that. But then everything that's like out of focus in the background is made in Unreal Engine, right? In an Unreal Engine? I, I can't remember. And then they would Probably. have like the artist like on set with a little tablet where if they wanted to change something or change the time, they could just drag the fucking sun across the sky <laughs> and make it set or whatever. It's yeah. insane. It is cool. the coolest thing in the world. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and crank out YouTube videos for seven more years or whatever <laughs> until I can afford to put myself in this dome, in dome. <laughs> with a desk in the middle and I'll do on set streams on uh you know wherever the fuck I want it'd be incredible it'd be that's, way better than a green screen it would be yeah, yeah and fuck yeah. vtubers man that's gonna be yeah the next level that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the new uh stamp of uh contemporary streaming yep. you need one of those if you if you donate enough we you can change location and, oh yeah. that'd be cool just, yeah <laughs> Just changed where I am. Exactly. That's incredible. That's it. All right, cut that part of the podcast out because that's a patented idea by yeah, us. Stealing it. <laughs> Can't uh, steal it. Keep it in, Solly. Keep it in. <laughs> oh, shit. You got Solly editing this? Yep. Yeah. You guys are like a little fucking cult over there. I swear to God, all these little <laughs> names, they keep popping up and now adding people to the crew and everything. Hmm. It's me, Z Chum. <laughs> yeah, Z Chum. You guys all know sudden, me. A right? man on the periphery uh, for for uh, years. All of a sudden, he's in the he's I've in the limelight. I've been on the precipice of greatness since 2016. Yeah. Okay. Until <laughs> King scooped you up like a newborn babe. 
I think Aqua, scoop, up, right? Aqua scooped me up like a newborn babe. He took me under yeah. his wing. But and, the puppet and does and not act me. without the puppet master. King's <laughs> <laughs> Aqua's <laughs> King's like directed Aqua. He was, yeah, go I don't to have this man. I have yeah. no more free will. It was None. weird because me and Z Chumster Decky and Kings were in here and we we're waiting for Aqua and I was like, "Where's Aqua?" And Kings goes, "Oh, sorry." And then he just he typed into his phone. He just said, "Wake." And all of a sudden, he performed Aqua, some weird hand uh, in his uh, eyes and sat down on the computer. <laughs> Some, yeah. like, Iron did Man I show Jarvis up right stuff. after that? I bet I did. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> and then yeah. he sent you a message saying you looked a little famished and you scurried off to go get food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do human let's, things. Uh... And he went off and got food. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about some real Christmas activities, though. Um, mm. Memories that we have from Christmases. Oh, I got a I good question. I've... I think I've talked about mine personally, but my big Christmas thing was I I felt so, so guilty that I had to tell my mother I masturbated before Christmas. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, that was, I, yeah I think I talked about it, but like that's that the one memory that sticks out most of my childhood. That. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just wow. the pure guilt. And I I did that two Christmases in a row. Dude, you are a sap. <laughs> if, you, if you are thinking that like, St. Nicholas has that much influence that he fucking knows. I, I didn't believe in Santa Claus. My parents oh. told me he was fake. I think, I think that's a universal thing. You just did it to just do. You I want my mom to know about this. <laughs> <laughs> I want my mom to know what's going on in this room. Why would he even uh, if, if there isn't the fear of some like omniscient being like Santa Claus or Jesus was, looming like down, like the why fear. the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's Jesus's birthday. I need to be pure. Oh, so it was a Jesus thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like it's a big holiday, big thing religiously. Yeah. I need to, yeah, I need to get it off my chest. Weird. Mm. Did any of you yeah, guys it was weird. that way? I I definitely like avoided doing anything like that on holidays. I just it just felt like just really? not a no. Yeah. I'm, I'm a fucking heathen. I yeah. have no remorse. Yeah. <laughs> no self control. I'm a soulless remorse. creature with no. <laughs> No like, self control. Just like, I just I realize like there's no repercussions. Like uh, lots of people like you know the Rwanda genocide happened. Nobody got in trouble. Like nobody gives a fuck. So I was like, he's not. If if there's any like smiting to be happening, it's not gonna be because this guy whacked off on Christmas Day. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was just born. I was born on this yeah. day, my child. You you must die now. <laughs> yeah. After all the horrible shit that happens, I don't think the second you do, nobody's it, there's like coming a, after me. Like a booming voice, like you dare. Fuck! Fuck! So I I have that memory. Mm. Um. I had a basset hound as a kid. He caught his tail on fire on Christmas Day. Um, it was okay. There's no burning, but he was just sitting next to the fireplace. So I remember that because I have a terrible memory. I don't. I don't remember much of my childhood. Same. Um, I'm right there with you. And another time, my parents, my my sister was very much a tomboy. Always wanted to go like hunting and like digging in dirt and stuff. And my parents got her parts for a lawnmower. Not a lawnmower, but parts for a lawnmower for her to make like a go kart out of. Oh, that's sick! That's badass. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. She never made a go kart. We just had parts for a lawnmower sitting in the fridge or in the garage. But it was. I remember I was all like, "That's just lawnmower parts." <laughs> like it was just like, "What the hell is this?" Is she um, older? Yeah. She's a little bit older. Yeah. But uh, that was. Yeah, those are like my big standout memories. Just random shit that just didn't make sense to me. <laughs> I, uh... My dad had a heart attack on Christmas too. Whoa! Wow! He's okay. He's okay. But yeah, that that was the heart attack Christmas. What'd you get him? Was it like a? <laughs> what, yeah, what, he I, I all the plans were kind of ruined on that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just kind of sat in a hospital waiting room. But uh, uh, what what sparked it? Was it something? Was it I, a shitty I, gift? I... Was it a great gift? <laughs> 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 You oh, you're already the worst at that time. That was <laughs> even the more weird thing. That was like back in my teenage years, late teenage years. Like parents were already divorced, and then his like mom was actually there, sitting in the waiting room with us, and it was always it was it was a very awkward situation. Yeah, um, that sounds incredibly uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everything yeah. turned out fine for him, so it's not like a sad thing. But that was the heart attack Christmas. Yeah. 
I remember I was I was playing fucking League of Legends. My grandfather had a heart attack and was in the hospital. My mom called me and she was like, "He's this is it. He's gonna die." And so I told my friends, I told Brian and I told Steve, I was like, my grandfather's dying. I got to get out of here. And when I left, they fucking reported me for AFK. <laughs> on League of Legends. Are you serious? I'm serious. They were like, this fucking guy left and we lost the game. And they fucking reported me for AFK because my grandfather was dying. <laughs> yep. These are your best friends, right? That's League of oh, Legends for you, though. Yeah, Let me that, tell you. That is League, League of Legends. Legends. And yes, they are my best friends. <laughs> wow. Uh, my... My brother, um, <laughs> it wasn't Christmas, but my brother one time, uh, he was like, we were like, all in the woods, like me and my brothers were in the woods. He climbed up a tree because uh, there was like a tree stand in it, climbed up a tree, you know, was just standing there. And then he wanted to like jump out of the tree stand for some reason, jumped out of the tree stand. We're like a mile around a mile out from my house. He breaks his leg like to the point <laughs> oh, where, it's, where it's, it's, it's backwards, right? Like we're in the middle of the woods by about, you know, whatever, three quarters of a mile or something a mile. And um, the road's not that far, but his ba- his foot is backwards. So, like, it's like a full break. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to run back to the house and, like, get my dad to, you know, drive the car to the road. And you guys, you know, can hobble to the road. So they did that. But when I got to the house, you know, I'm running and I ran, like, a mile to back to the house as quick as I could. Told my dad. My dad's like, oh, okay. And I was like, no, no, no. He broke his leg. You need to, like, drive out and pick him up and bring him to the hospital. And my dad's watching baseball at the time. And you have to understand my dad's a huge Red Sox fan. He's watching baseball and he goes, ah, well, the game's almost over. I'm sure I can get him then. And so I'm like arguing with my dad to pick up my brother the road. And then I'm like, <laughs> his foot is backwards. And he's like, okay, okay. At the end of this inning. And I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? So then he gets in the car and goes and gets him. But like my brother always does dumb shit. So he didn't think it was like. That that serious, but I was yeah. like, it's backwards. He's like, oh, okay. He like, I guess. Got upset. He's like, he's like, hold on, let me hook up my Hapage HD PVR and record this. <laughs> no, he, set this he, up. Uh, it takes him forty eight minutes to figure out the wiring for it and everything. And yeah, then, let, me, let me get this oh, thing yes. recorded here. Right? By that time, your brother's leg is purple and blue at the toes, and it <laughs> needs to be like amputated. The thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! But then again, my brother was like 23 when he did that. Yeah. So like, oh, oh yeah, kind of old. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, old, yeah. Like, Who were you? 16, maybe. Oh. And this was on Christmas. No, 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 it wasn't on Christmas. It was, I was, it was like during the winter. Or it was like near the winter. I was gonna Probably give your dad now. like a little bit of leeway if you're like eight or something that you may yeah. be like over exaggerating the situation and he's no, no, like I, I think i was like 16 something like that that is yeah. very much old enough to convey urgency i yeah I can't... dad i'm 16 i know what leg back guy's 23 means. i would be like yeah, you know what it's it's fine yeah tell him to call a fucking uber driver <laughs> the red dogs are on he's 23 he's got his own finances and shit yeah i'm gonna get himself to the fucking hospital yeah. beast burger out there yeah. <laughs> Um, what's the worst uh, gift you've ever given for the for Christmas or whatever holiday? Ooh. The worst gift you've ever given. I uh, I got my sister a wooden toilet toilet seat one year. <laughs> Those are the worst. On purpose? Those are... They are. <laughs> they're kind of yeah on purpose. They're kind of like when you see one, it's kind of like oh wow, wooden toilet seat. And, and then uh, you realize you're like. You're not That's supposed to perfect. cut. Yeah. yeah, you're not supposed to cut meat and fish on a wooden butcher block. <laughs> right. What does piss and shit do to a wooden toilet seat? <laughs> exactly. I'm sure. And I don't know. Honestly, she was very pleased with the gift. It was just a funny gag gift, but like objectively speaking, probably the most awful thing you can receive. Yeah. What a wooden wooden toilet seat. There's a weird transitioning period between when you're a kid and your parents do your present buying for you. And when you're mm-hmm. an adult and yeah. you're supposed to buy your own presents. Now, everybody knows that when you get, when you start to become an adult, you're not just making adult big boy dollars. <laughs> right. Yeah. And so when you're like 20 to like 20, whatever, and you have to buy Christmas presents for your family, they're getting an awful lot of fucking like soap, uh, <laughs> like 
fucking bottles of lotion. Here's some dad, cookies I made. Yeah. Here's some cookies that I stole from somebody else. Like, yeah. Here's a pie I stole from my neighbor's windowsill, like an old cartoon. <laughs> here's a gift someone else just gave me. It's yeah, you know. I've done that shit where I get something from like a, a distant relative and I turn around and go, this would be great for the in-laws type thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you go through years of not having money, hell yeah. Socks are big. Yeah, I'm still doing these. that. Candles. <laughs> Dude, I fucked with TJ Maxx for yep. Christmas time. You go to TJ Maxx and you just start grabbing shit off the shelves. Doesn't matter what it is. Yep. Candles. Every woman got candles. That that was... <laughs> I did that in high school for my um, girlfriend's mother. I didn't know what to get her, so I just got her candles. And I got yelled at because it's like, you know, like candles is like cool, but it's like, it's not a thoughtful gift. And I yeah. just got, you know... But a week after Christmas, I just got yelled at. Full I just didn't do gifts. Yeah, you had like I, a weird, like fucking Jehovah's Witness childhood. I feel like <laughs> that's true. But yeah. like, I mean, there was a point where, like, you know, I was the youngest of my family of like kids, and there was a you know a while with Christmas you would get stuff, and then they toned it down in my in my teens, and then it just stopped like mid teens, like you stopped getting shit really, huh. and then like maybe you'll get like one thing, but. There's not a lot of big gifting going on for me. Yeah. So I definitely avoided most of that shit. I used to get gifts like 12 years or probably like four or five years after I wanted them in my family. I don't know why, (laughs) but my my mom was really good at this. Like, because she's always like, well, we're going to wait until you're sure (laughs) you want it. So like I wanted a drum set (laughs) Mm -hmm. when I was like, whatever, 10 years old. Right. You know, I, I played in I played in the band. You know, I was pretty good. Uh, and then in like middle school, I was being trained by like a semi decently known person. So I was like trained in percussion. And then I decided to stop when I went into high school because I didn't want to do it anymore. And then like a year after I stopped, I just got a drum set. And I was like, great. Cool. You weren't really sure you wanted it, Kings. <laughs> yeah. Well, I- I've been playing <laughs> drums for the last five years. And then like, it's like, uh, set, yeah. it's like Frank and Always Sunny who just it finds out what his kids want. And just buy it for himself. <laughs> just like <laughs> flaunt it in their face. Nice. Uh, now so, I'll get him after this inning. <laughs> me and my brother. My brother's five years older than me, right? And uh, that was like the most crisp crunch I've ever heard, Aqua. That was incredible. <laughs> um, Ruffles, baby. It, that sounded like it was for a fucking commercial. Like, they oh. actually <laughs> sponsored this podcast, <laughs> Ruffles. Yeah. I wish. Yeah. Please, Ruffles, <laughs> me too. Contact with us. But uh, so when you get Christmas presents, I don't know how it was in your family, but my family, my mom didn't want to wrap a bunch of presents from Santa and mm-hmm. Santa doesn't wrap presents. He just has his uh, indentured servants make them and then he brings them to you and you enjoy them. They're not wrapped there. It's just straight from the store, but technically from the North Pole, South Pole or whatever. So um, is it Antarctica? Is he North? He's North Pole. North. Okay. Oh, yeah. Trying to figure out where he is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so on Christmas morning, I get up and my mom would have our presents out and me and my brother five years apart. So I would have like kids stuff. And my brother would have like older kids stuff, but for some reason, because he's the older brother, I would like, he would just come over to me and be like, no, nah, this Santa meant for me to have this. And I'd be like, Oh, <laughs> you're the older brother. Of course, you know, best. And so my mom tried making it very obvious by like putting the Christmas tree in the middle of the living room and then one wing of presents for him and one wing of presents for me because she can't step in as a parent and go, oh, no, Santa actually wants yeah. you to have this and this because we were all asleep when he came. Right. And uh, she should have had like written instructions from Santa or something. <laughs> but anyway, so I had to, I grew up and like my brother would walk over to me. I still remember doing this. He would walk over to me and I would just wait for him to delegate who got what. And he would just sit there in the middle of the living room. <laughs> what an asshole. Like a fucking pirate king looking over his booty. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, Santa wanted me to have two kickballs this year. And I'd be like, oh, okay. And my mom's like, there's fucking two of them. It's obvious you both get one. And that Sam, was my Christmas. Santa wanted you to have these candles. Yeah. I grew, up, I grew up with my brother. He would get an N64 and a TV. And my mom would be like, she would put them separate, I mean- <laughs> indicating that one of you gets the TV, one of you gets the N64. Therefore, you should share it. 
Mm-hmm. That'd be like, pretty sadis- sadistic, though. <laughs> if you were like, you can have a TV, you get the N64. No, that's what it was. You cannot you're cross to, them over. You're, you're supposed to meet together. But, video he, game. <laughs> but he would just go and get the N64 and be like, no, Santa wanted me to have the TV and the N64. And so then it was uh, his domain. He lorded over it. Yeah. And I would just be able to come in every now and then. And, they have, you know, there's that one video of that kid opening the Nintendo 64 and he's like freaking out. Yeah. yeah. Sam, that was Sam, except Sam's like, I got a 60 minute. Then his brother's all like, his brother just takes Santa it. brought that yeah. for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, well, no, we didn't really get to play it a whole lot. My dad played it mostly. <laughs> it was my my dad would play Golden Eye, and he Great would game. do yeah. he would do all the cheats that would make it harder. <laughs> and so he would play. I remember he would play Bunker, the second iteration of Bunker, with knives only. And he would, and then the enemies would have like rocket launchers and everything. He would fucking still wipe the floor with that map. That was insane. <laughs> Really hard to do, actually. Yeah, like, this game he, is too easy for me. I do that now. He had names for all the NPCs too. That was what's so funny. He would sit there and wait. And he'd be like, uh, "Igor's coming around the corner now." <laughs> and, like Igor would come and he would knife him right in the face. Yeah, yeah. that was a good ass game though. I, yeah. I had a lot of time spent watching that game. <laughs> Never really got to play it a whole lot, but uh, yeah, it was, it was good times. You seem really sad about that. No, I just thought about like the time period when I got that, and I realized we got an N64 way after it was done with. Yeah, I too, oh, yeah. I too I got, got an N64 too. way after it was done with. I was playing Sega Saturn like way into the N64 life cycle, and then we got an N64 when like Xbox came out. I think I got a like a, a NES when n64 was out i got an n64 yeah. when the original xbox was out and then i caught I got, up with like the 360 yeah i got the n64 on time and let me tell you something with that launch title super mario 64 that was the greatest thrill of my life like I, it's so great you're still playing it 20 years still, later yeah. <laughs> playing it like and then going to school the next day and talking to all the other kids that had it. Oh, oh like I figured out. Played it. Yeah. Like, I found the one in the wall. Blah, like all that shit. It was yeah. cool. Yeah. The only experience I've had like that would be Dark Souls when it first mm. came out. You know, like talking yeah. to my friends and being like, dude, have you found that illusory wall like down there by Quelag? Her fucking sister's down there. Like there's all that shit. Before, <laughs> before all the illusory walls were found, you know, that game was still a mystery. Kind How old were like you? Super Mario. I was like fucking 20 something, dude. Like it didn't come out that long ago. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know when it came out. Dark Souls 1? It came out like what, 2013 or something? 2012? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that game was insane though. World of Warcraft yeah. was that with me. Cause like I was just in a clan with everybody from like my school. It was wow. it turned into like a real life gang. It really did. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I used to hang out in the computer lab with all the other WoW nerds and like just exactly like, just fucking nerd uh, n- like just go on forums and shit <laughs> and like just talk about our raids the night before or whatever. I mean, we just like sat in the circle like, like twenty game. minutes before school, I like and I remember like the early like days it. It was like up four top, of us up top, and at the end of it, yeah. there was like forty kids <laughs> that would just come and sit out there, all just talking about World oh, of Warcraft. We got a majority. Kings is also not a World of yeah, Warcraft guy. I, I don't like World of Warcraft at all. Let's fucking kick these two nerds. Let's kick their asses. <laughs> well, I wish I was with you guys. <laughs> Shit ruined my life. Look at me now. <laughs> it's all because of World of Warcraft. About World of Warcraft. Fuck. Nah, man. I could have been somebody. I think I think I've already gone on my insane tirade about how much I hate Blizzard after what they did to, to uh, Blizzard North after Diablo Two came out. So I'm not going to go into that. But yeah. when World of Warcraft came out, it was I wouldn't play it based on principle, just oh. for what they did. Wow. You know? I played it and I just I didn't so have much respect. Fun. I wasn't yeah. having fun, and I was like, I don't know how this isn't fun to me. You saw how D2 looked, right? You guys have seen that game. Yeah, yeah. there's like bodies like impaled on the walls and shit, yeah. and it was like so dark. And then and then they're like World of Warcraft, and it's like like, it's like the gayest <laughs> looking game I've <laughs> ever seen. Like, like Warcraft three was a thing. Warcraft one, two, and three. That's yeah. how it looked. They didn't look like that. Yeah, I did. I no, think Warcraft. Didn't. I think Warcraft three had more like blood and gore than World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is its own hideously cartoonish garbage. 
I'm looking up World of Warcraft or War Warcraft 3 right now. I'm gonna do Warcraft it. 3 had some weird graphics and it was definitely not realistic like Diablo, but it was it got yeah, it got multiplied with World of Warcraft. Let me look at this shit right now. Okay. It's like you remember the peons and shit in Warcraft 3? They were goofy as shit. Yeah, the, the peons were really goofy, but that's, that's what that was the art style, man. That's what it looked like. Yeah, I don't yeah, this is really bright and everything, but yeah. no, it is not not nearly as as fruity sexual as World of Warcraft is. I don't discriminate against any of the games. I hate them all pretty much <laughs> pretty much equally. I, I think very... when World of Warcraft came out, I don't think I had like I had terrible internet so i didn't want to do it but also like i was young i would have had to get my parents to like pay for a subscription my parents would never play pay for a subscription for i a game. snuck my xbox live <laughs> subscription onto my parents credit card and they didn't <laughs> notice it for probably 10 years even <laughs> well cool. after i stopped playing on consoles i was like completely done with xbox for like four years and my mom calls me i'm like li i'm like at college like living on my own she calls me and she's like are you using our credit card for this xbox this microsoft thing they've got like four years of monthly <laughs> charges on their card my dad just stopped paying for aol <laughs> <laughs> what yeah they still have like a Oh, they've mm -hmm. probably got millions of people. They never like told a... anyone that you don't need to pay for that anymore. I was about to say, they, they still have, like, a, a, I guess, like a... Subscription? A service? How do you like, think they're how do you think they they did. still in business? They did in like 2014, I think, is when he's like, well, I've been paying for AOL this whole time. I didn't even know. <laughs> you know what? I saw this guy. This guy had a, um, an art piece on his living room wall that was so fucking cool. And at the time, everybody thought those AOL discs were garbage. He made like an art wall art out of all the AOL the free, discs that they like, would the mail free you. Time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought that was so cool because now like you can't hours, you can't yeah. find one of those anywhere. Maybe on eBay. I don't know why someone would sell it, but <clears throat> yeah, yeah, those were cool. Yeah, they were. A thousand free hours of internet. Mom, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't I even know. Like, what, what, definitely has a million of those in there. can't even count that high, a thousand hours. Oh, my God. <laughs> what were they exactly? Like, you just plug it in? And... Yeah, it's, it's it like was... a thousand hours per account. And if you wanted to make a new account, you could technically just always have free internet. Yeah. The way it worked was, like, the disk was essentially, like, DRM'd to, like, once you re The disk was the code. Like, once you use it. Yeah. And, Get a thousand free hours of, of use through like an AOL browser, or some shit. Uh, my entire that's like half of my subs though. Like those guys forget they subbed me, and <laughs> half of them are dead, and and I'm just milking their bank accounts. That's why uh, I was so mad when Twitch like when Twitch banned me for peddling dildos. Like they oh you lost them all. Yeah. yeah, they they canceled all my subs, and then they unbanned me and they apologized and they they're like we're sorry you shouldn't have been banned, and I was like well. You cancel all my subs, and they're like, "Yeah, we can't reactivate them." And like, it's, yeah, know. get fucked, kid. Sorry. <laughs> um, and I was all like, "What about Joe two three four, dude? He died three years ago, and I've just been milking him. Yeah. <laughs> it's what Joe wanted. He can't reactivate. Joe can't. He's not here. He doesn't care." <laughs> um, but yeah, sad times. Yeah. You see that? So, you see that lady spread her ass on Twitch and didn't get banned, or she got banned for three days? Like three days. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. It was. It was an accident. It was completely that she that she basically sat on that camera. Yeah, <laughs> I could tell it was an accident because it was like, you know, like you could think like, oh, was this intention? Was her camera intentionally behind her facing the desk? Yes, <laughs> some people put it like that to look at the back of your head. And you know, was it an accident that she pulled her panties off to the side and full on <laughs> gripped her ass and spread it and put it into the camera lens? Yeah, you know, these things happen, you know. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> sometimes the stars align in such a way, and I feel like Twitch staff finally did realized, something right. They, they yeah, they stepped up. Accidents and... do happen. <laughs> Meanwhile, and not only that, but that was possibly like the nicest asshole I've ever seen on camera. So <laughs> I would get. I wouldn't even ban that. I would have been like, dude, that is <laughs> that thing is oh, fucking. Ah, that is a right. beautiful. Asshole, and sometimes good job on you that. just have a very clean asshole at the yeah. perfect time. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what the hell is going on with that thing. It doesn't look like shit has ever touched it once. <laughs> yeah. Things like 
fresh out of a shower. I want to show people my asshole, you know? like That lady looks like she's been fed by IV for her entire life. <laughs> <laughs> like just a pure liquid diet. Maybe she has a colostomy bag. Maybe. Yeah, she doesn't turn around. <laughs> that brought up a really good point for me. I discussed this. And yeah. that is, I'm terribly surprised that... If I wasn't a Twitch streamer, I never gave a fuck about Twitch before I started streaming. I wasn't one of those guys that watched and then was like, I want to do it. I was just Same. like, yeah. man, I'm desperate. Let me do something. So <laughs> I, I started doing it. And if I had never done that, if I had a friend that was talking about Twitch or something, my <laughs> I, my idea would be like, so like people just do that shit and they, they, they can't really regulate what you do on there. And if you do something bad, they just ban you. I would just make an account and I would just pull out my dick and sit in IRL until I got banned. Because I'm like, I don't care about Twitch. I don't I don't care right. if I, my account gets banned. And that'd yeah. be funny as shit. Why, why do I not see that every day that I, like, browse IRL or something, or, like, just chatting? I it seems it, like I people would do happens. that shit all the time. I just think they're really on top of it. Because they only have to, like, check a certain demographic of accounts. Like, accounts made within a I week. Guess, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. It just seems like that would be everywhere. All the time. Just people that don't give a fuck about Twitch is like, this is shit's funny as shit. Yeah. I think, think that's another reason why it's considered an accident because this lady has a very established career mm. and mm -hmm. she was she's very popular. And then why would she jeopardize that by intentionally spreading her asshole on camera? That's more evidence as to why it was a, a mistake. <laughs> Absolutely. It was a complete accident. She definitely did not get more people talking about her based on showing her ass on stream. No, no, no. no, no that's definitely I mean, not. Well, I we didn't... were going to talk about her regardless, and it just yeah. happened that this was the latest in news. <laughs> yeah, right. Was that her beautiful asshole was on stream? Yeah, not that I care, mm -hmm. but like, what's her name? Not that I, not that I want to know. Sam told me about this last night. Oh, we said, took my bookmarks. <laughs> I was like, no. I had to repopulate them. I would hate if somebody posted the link to this in our chat right now. Okay. I don't want that. She um, did a three D three day ban right for that, and mm -hmm. our friend that we that we know from streaming, he's a small you know a small streamer, but he had the word nips, like nipples in his name. And he's indefinitely banned forever. Why? Because he had nipple in his name. I, Not even nipple. Nips. Just nips. Yeah. I but, likewise have a friend who was playing. This was like a Tarkov controversy for a while, too. I've got a guy I like to watch stream. Uh, and he killed some guy in Tarkov. And the guy comes in his chat. He's another streamer. The guy comes in his chat. He's like, hey, drop my loot. And he goes, no, nah, fuck you. I'm not dropping it. The guy goes back to his own stream and he goes, everybody go report this guy. He didn't drop my loot. Everybody go report him. He got fucking banned from Twitch. He's yeah. been banned for like two months now. Just because he got like, mass he's reported. Gone? Yeah. He's really? got reported, yeah. yeah. Wow. Just because he got mass reported. Is and it then, weaponizing the, your, yeah. your audience a, a bad that guy, thing? And then that guy got banned, but they didn't reinstate my buddy's account. He's just fucked. So they both got banned. Yeah, they're both banned. All he did was not drop the guy's loot. You don't have to drop your fucking his loot in Tarkov. It's, it's not required. He got banned for it. Huh. I feel so bad for him. It's been like two months. He's got to be unbanned eventually. You would That's think that, fun. but he submitted a like he submitted a. I think there's so <clears throat> many people who like go on IRL and show their dick, and then. Just to be funny, they try to like reinstate their account, which like bogs yeah. down Man, Twitch. I need to, I need to hang out on the bottom end of IRL more often. <laughs> just get to zero viewers, because maybe I'm wrong. I just felt like I was like, I feel like people would do that, but they don't. But maybe they just do, and I just miss it. Yeah. I feel like he would be on band. They just exactly I they think haven't. He will gone. too. They just it's been two months of him just waiting. His Discord yeah. is like slowly dwindling every every like week. Someone's he's like, like a real streamer. Eh, he was like my size at the time. He was like seventy. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not. Yeah. He's broken the ten viewer wall. Yeah. yeah. He, the he sky's was, the limit at that point. He was yeah. growing, and I think I think he was fucking hilarious. I think he was gonna do really well, and then yeah. he just got shit yeah. on like that. And now he's. Oh, just by the way, in in chat, I put the the video you requested. Oh, I've, I'm not gonna watch it right now. Watch it now. <laughs> Save you stand it. up so yeah, I can see I, the front of your pants. I would while never you watch, watch it immediately. <laughs> oh, I can't because it'll. I can't He's look recording. at the chat because it'll it'll close the cameras. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That's a shame. All right. I'd hate to pull my phone out and. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we'll wait. You don't have to wait for me. No, 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 I, I want to wait. I want everybody. I to watched it. it on stream. You guys. Don't Somebody was all like, "Man." Yeah. Puss on stream and you, you just missed it, Decky. And I was all like, I was like, was it accidental on purpose? And they were like, and they were like, accident. That was 100%. <laughs> yeah. And I was all like, all right, accident. let me check it out. And then I was like, yeah. oh. What an incredible accident. That's that is not just like, I was expecting like <laughs> one of the like, you know, girl in a skirt, legs crossed, and she, you know, switches the. What switches an the amazing cross, accident. Down. Yeah. That's like one of the, have you ever seen those where people are driving down the interstate and like a comet comes out of the sky and kills them? So what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that her... kind of accent. It's like a one in a million. What you know? was her excuse for this? Do you need an excuse? It's obvious you see the Did they accident. Just went, she literally said on Twitter it was an accident, though. Yeah. Like, that was actually a tweet from she her. Said, she said she dropped her fidget spinner under her desk, and she was going to retrieve it. <laughs> <laughs> she said. But she, she's unbanned now. She got a three-day yeah. ban for that. Yeah. And but she's... did you... She's or, good now. She's bad. Are you She's insinuating fine. that someone would lie on the internet? Is that I, what you're saying to me? I actually I've believe she could have, like, argued that and been like, I was airing it out. I didn't think I was on that layout. It was <laughs> airing it out. That she, thing doesn't need to be aired been. out. It's spotless. <laughs> <laughs> she could have said she hit, meant to hit start record button and hit the start <laughs> stream button. I, I don't know that. how far that was into her stream. If the stream started like that for like 30 seconds and then that happened, she could have argued that she meant to hit record, not stream. What was her chat? I have a feeling she had probably been live for a while. During the, what were they all like screaming about when she was doing that? That's the best part. One of her mods was all like, blank and blank, are you okay? Are you sure what you're <laughs> Everyone, doing? Everyone's going, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You know what's great is she really doesn't have much of a defense because, like, one of her monitors is just her Twitch chat. You can see it <laughs> scrolling yeah. down. Yeah, everybody going, uh, uh. Like, how do you, know? <laughs> you get that, you know? Like, how yeah. does, like, how do you set up that scenario? Like, you hold on. Was? If she was like, I want to just transition into doing uh, OnlyFans only, and this yeah. is going to be my last two raw. And then she did it, and she was like, "All right, now it's time to start doing OnlyFans." And then, and then they were like, "Oh, you'll get on ban in three days." And she was like, "Huh? <laughs> I guess I get two. to do both. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad deal." That yeah. that that was my guess. I was like, "She's yeah. like, I'm making enough on OnlyFans. I'm just gonna focus on that shit and fuck, yeah. fuck Twitch." But a great advertisement. Yeah, they, they, they bringing were like, these two together. She was like, "Fuck it, like when Elon Musk happens. put." his Tesla on the rocket he made and put it into the, the atmosphere is very similar to when this OnlyFans actress put her asshole on her Twitch stream. How long until Twitch makes like a like an adult <laughs> section? They just yeah, banned the word yeah, stimp. They're not making an yeah, adult section. They could cash in so, so well on this if they just like tagged on like you have to verify your age to enter this section type thing. Maybe just they've I, got the infrastructure for it. Just make like Twitch X or something. Yeah, I've it always been of a... the opinion that you should just be able to do whatever the fuck you want on Twitch. Like, I agree. If if what I hate is that they put ads on Twitch. I hate that. I if because the whole point of it was it's like grassroots. Like the people pay for the content. So if you can do whatever you're doing and garner attention and get subs, yeah, and able to they... maintain a lifestyle, yeah. then who cares? You know? Yeah, but. Yeah. Yeah, but the ads they can't yeah they can't. yeah no i get that i get that yeah i you know? uh my as long as it's not illegal i don't see a yeah, problem yeah yeah i think that there's like some things that should be relaxed on twitch right because i yeah. want i don't know about you guys but i want to strap a fucking dog collar to my neck and let people pay to just electrocute me right yeah i do not have want you, have you have you done that i've done i can do that i have the technology i know but have you like this. been zabbed by dog collar yes it fucked you up put it on a light <clears> setting <throat> and exaggerate i don't know like i got what a, does it feel like decky i was like 12 but like i put it on and i ran through that electric fence and it it, it put me on the ground decky had some I weird christmases yeah <laughs> that was not a very story. strange that was just like that's just like fucking stupid kid but yeah i mean i i held it in my hand and went through the thing but it wasn't on a very high setting i'm just curious uh i don't know about the setting part i just we took it off the guy's dog and yeah, i put, I it, put on. it on I put it on low before <laughs> fucking shot like the it shit was it was a, a very much worse than I had expected. Mm. 
You know, I thought it was me... gonna be like a zap, and you're like, oh shit, but no, it. It yeah, yeah. <laughs> call me a pussy or like some sort of uh, PETA member or something like that. But um, instead of getting something that shocks my dog into agony, I got uh, it's just a little box where if she barks, it just goes ee! with like a little loud noise. Shut up! <laughs> and she just goes like, <laughs> <laughs> and it like freaks her out. She gets like really low to the ground. And then, so, but what sucks <laughs> is you have to bark at a certain volume in order to make it go off. And so now she's learned how to bark at just under that volume. <laughs> so she just goes like, it's like the lowest bark possible. <laughs> or she'll just go like, if, if like the mailman, my mailman has like this death march he does across my yard with the packages. He is just full on coming towards the door. And my dog will see him. And she's like, holy, this guy's about to kick down the front door. And so she'll do one loud bark. And then before the thing even goes off, she runs. She's just like, I'm just, here's your alarm, boss. This thing's about to fucking freak me out. So I'm running. It's a location-based thing. Yeah. <laughs> I better I've leave the duty. scene. I've done my best. Yeah. I'm fucking out of here. Well, it's not a collar. It's just a little box I have on the windowsill. It's, oh. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's not a collar. <laughs> no. But I guess the zap thing is definitely like keep your dog within your yard. I just put up a, a wooden fence. Mm. Yeah. Wow, disgusting. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't build it. I knew that was beyond my skill level. I paid oh. I paid some Mexican fellers to come down here and build it. <laughs> yeah. I've been promising Katie. I was Katie thinking about for, uh, building it, but I've been promising Katie for yeah. two years I'm gonna finish the fence. <laughs> <laughs> it's not and I'm gonna promise Do you have a half done fence? Yeah, I'm gonna promise her for another <laughs> two years that I'm gonna finish the fence. What kind what kind of fence is it? <laughs> it's a nice fence. Yeah, yeah. Is, uh, it, is it like the? the I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. I didn't start the fence. It was half done when we bought the house. Oh. <laughs> I've just been promising that I'm gonna finish it. it. Is it's a nice fence. It's like mm -hmm. full height. Neighbors can't see my backyard at oh, all. Oh yeah, like a privacy fence. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And every year I'm like, this is the year. I'm I'm gonna do it. I feel like the previous owner had the same attitude. <laughs> now it's snowing. It's like almost done too. The and you know what? The only segment that isn't finished is between me and my neighbor's backyard. Like, uh, like, like my, uh, this all sides of my yard are done except for like three fence segments. You put it up. It's like you're like, get out. So you don't want to be rude. Yeah. I actually feel like maybe that's why the previous owner stopped is because they didn't want to like piss off the neighbors or something i don't care i don't want you, you know, watching me like there's a little anecdote called um high fences make great neighbors agreed very true i don't want to watch you yeah, i don't i have a i have a great relationship with my neighbors and it's because i put up a giant fence because i never <laughs> see like, them yeah <laughs> I, yeah i got a massive fence it was funny they moved in and they have like two three little girls and they kept fucking bugging me and like talking to me over the fence and then suspiciously i put up this giant bigger like, fence <laughs> all my, no it was a, it was a chain link i put this fucking huge privacy fence up that because i told the guy i was like i want the top of it to be like level all the way across and so, like, it kind of goes downhill where these people are. So the thing's, like, fucking 12 feet tall on his side. <laughs> like, it is just, He's got this monolith of a fucking it fence. It is huge. <laughs> it is so big on that side. And, the, and the, the girls even asked me, they were like, did you build this because we moved in? And I was like, no. Like, <laughs> no, of I, course I, not. No, of course not. I told the dad, and he even asked me, the dad asked me. I was like, dude, it, I was like, I wish I built it because you guys moved in because that means I would have enough money to afford to buy this fence after one month the thing is i had been saving up for it but then i was like i could get that fucking lounge chair i've been looking at and then the stupid girls moved in so i was like All right, i'll get that fucking fence <laughs> and the lounge chair will remain a, a white whale that i'll never get <laughs> oh well <laughs> yeah yeah it'll i'll finish it speaking eventually. of um speaking of dogs i started well my girlfriend primarily but now i'm definitely included started uh we're dog sitting oh, considering God. she's out of work with covid and everything and we're both always home uh we started like two days ago yesterday we took care of a cat and then yesterday we also got a golden retriever so um a lot of stuff's going on with that. Yeah, uh, he's he's sitting in another room. His name's Manuel, and he's about ten times the size of the miniature schnauzers we have. 
And what are you uh, drinking there? I was about to say it's like two o'clock. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, we had talked about yesterday when we had planned to do this podcast. We were gonna have some sips. So I had gotten all prepped. I got the fireball. I was like, I don't have any hot cocoa or anything. But fireball, it makes you all toasty inside. You're right. You're right. So I was. I got my uh, 16-year-old uh, single malt. Lagavulin. <laughs> I got my <laughs> Lagavulin. I'll be right back. I'll get me a cup. But, um. Wait, are we drinking yeah. now? Is this happening? <laughs> <laughs> I got a stream today, but yeah, I guess. I'll be right I'm, not, I'll be right I'm right. not fucking drinking now. You're out of your mind. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm a dog sitter. Sure, so, not- um. So is that That's like cool. a, is that a business thing? Like you're just sort of making some money on the side with your girlfriend, like dog sitting? Is that what's going on? Uh, I mean, I'm well, yeah. I mean, I'm paying for everything now, but uh, she is like we had like we had like you know, put dogs in dog sitters. We had always been like, dude, that'd be a cool fucking job to have you hang out with dogs all the time. But you don't have to like keep them. <laughs> uh, and so like considering you know she's out of work and everything, she's all like, we could do that. And I was like, all right. It doesn't pay a whole lot, but it's you get to have like a new dog every other day. Although Manny Manuel, uh, the golden retriever, is with us till like day after Christmas. <laughs> See, chum, you have COVID. <laughs> Put that away. I'm fine. I'm probably fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably fine. Don't, don't worry about me, Aqua. Um. <laughs> you know what's funny is I think the first time I met you, Sturdecky, we kept like asking you like. Oh, he, he, you said there's like prostitutes and stuff around there. You got prostitutes and you kept like deflecting. And I was like, you should really get one of those prostitutes. Cause I thought you were like alone. You never, you could have just said, I have a girlfriend. That's all you had to say. <laughs> I live with my girlfriend. Just, um, <laughs> that would have just shut down it. Cause I, we kept hounding you about it for like, it was like 48 minutes of us talking about you getting a prostitute. I think and it was just you once saying, said, <laughs> it was really just you. Said, I'm actually it's happily weird. in a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there are a lot of Sam refers again. to himself as we. <laughs> <laughs> it was mostly kings, but I jumped on board. Yeah. Yeah. If, if no one shares my opinion, I would call myself we as well. <laughs> <laughs> I always try to make myself seem like more of a rational human if I just act like there's multiple people that are backing every yeah. opinion. <laughs> The majority of us yeah. feel this way. <laughs> I learned that from Trump, where he's like, "Oh, we mm. we believe this," and th- <laughs> right. yeah, I'm like, "I think we, it's just you. I think it's <laughs> you're the only person." <laughs> he's a master of doing that. Okay. Yeah, there's some lessons to be learned there. Yeah, yeah. That's just... not, you using a you using a coffee mug there, Sturdecky. Well, I had my coffee in it. I was drinking coffee at the start of the stream. Oh, finished you just, it. Now we're on to fireball. Yeah. Yeah, you just threw them together. That's that's. Is there like a nice hint of coffee in there? Is that what you're doing? No. That's what like exactly, a cool. What is fireball? Cool oh. It's, it's fireball gross. was like popular back in what 2009. Yeah. And then like it came out that it had like ingredients that antifreeze has, and so they had to like stop selling it. And then they re came out with the, it again. You're in the wild west of Mexico. You know. <laughs> That's the Four Loco. The Four Loco was rumored to be the original Four Loco recipe in Mexico. I don't yeah. know any logistics on it. I just know it gets me fucked up. I don't want to break shit. But uh, Coca Cola has actual Coke in it. <laughs> there, right here. Right? <laughs> yeah. The Fireball here, I'm guessing, is the rebranded fire. You can't find it very much. I had to go four different 7 Elevens to get this Fireball. 7 Elevens the only place that carries it, and most of them don't have it. Mm. Huh. But I'm a big it's a fan. 7-Eleven exclusive, huh? <laughs> it's, and they maybe will have it. And the, you always ask if you go in, I'm like, you guys have Fireball? And they're like, no. And they're like, well, we're like, what is that? And then they're just automatically no. And then I'm like, I see it behind you. And then I'm like, okay. <laughs> so it's, it's right. a challenge to hunt it down. So every bottle you, I get, I'm always pretty pleased with. Do you speak Spanish? Well, I can ask for Fireball in Spanish, but no, I don't speak Spanish. Um, really? No. No. You live in Mexico. You don't speak any Spanish, not even like. Uh, like I, I can get by with some small things, but I. Do you find it difficult living enough. living in a, in an, an entire area where nobody speaks English? Well, it's been five years, so I'm kind of used. You to You haven't it. even. Uh, like, You've had five years. To learn? I thought you've just been there for like a year or two. Five <laughs> fucking years. Five years. He's like, I've been a decade, and you haven't picked up anything. 
don't want to just go out. That <laughs> this, is, this is why people hate Americans. You realize that, right? Um, he's waiting for everyone to learn English. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I do live in a in a <laughs> nicer part of the city. There are quite a few expats here. Um, so yeah, no, it's 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 an embarrassment on my side. Uh, but it's it is what it is. Yeah. Th doesn't your girlfriend speak like four languages or something? Couldn't she teach you like a little <laughs> bit of Spanish? She's kind of like too disgusted in me to even bother to try at this point. Dude, I would have so much anxiety anytime I leave the house for something. Yeah. Like, you go to like the doctor's office or grocery shopping and anybody says anything to you and you just got to be yeah, like. Yeah, go to the doctor. That's kind of uh, not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, but like grocery store and like that and like convenience stores and the stuff that I do. If I go and buy clothes or whatever else, I can fi I'm fine. I'm fine. I understand. But, uh, he could definitely get by. I speak yeah, English. Yeah. Everyone around me speaks English. I go out in public. People ask me something, and I go, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Walk it's, away. It's, it's about the same that I would speak to them in English if they if everybody spoke English. <laughs> I yeah. So I can games. I can do that. Just leave me alone. But if yeah. I'm out and like I'm at a party and people want to hang out, then things definitely become a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on account of not being able to talk to them at yeah. all. <laughs> so like, okay, so like how much how much Spanish do you know? Would you say like what can you say like where is the bathroom? Can you say that? Yeah, but it's <laughs> it's mainly when it's like I can understand enough, and 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 then again, like most like twenty something people, they they will speak a little bit of Spanish here. And like twenty something lower thirties, they will. Anything above that, and you're probably. I mean, not we all got forced well. to take like Spanish in high school, right? Like, I'm sure you know enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. there's there's plenty of like you get enough English, but yeah, it's it's my it's my embarrassment. It's it's a sh disgusting and a shame. I, I took Spanish told... lessons the first year I was here. I took like three months of it, except it was one of those Spanish lessons where they're like, we're not going to speak English, <clears throat> and you know it's supposed to be immersive. And like yeah. then people are always like, that's the best way to do it. You just go there, you live there, you're forced to learn it. And I think it's just because I'm really stupid, but I disagree. Because I took those Spanish lessons and that teacher did not speak English. She didn't just refuse to speak English, but she just didn't speak it. So she would like start the class and she'd be like, you know, speaking of Spanish. And this is when I first arrived. And, and I'd just be like, I don't know what she's saying. And everybody else in class was all like, oh, okay, they kind of understood. And she oh, was doing basics. Up on, like, what they, she was... they, but I think they also knew a little bit. I think if I took that same Spanish class now, I'd be fine. Yeah. But at that point, I couldn't even count to 10. Um, so, and yeah, that was that was the main issue. And and I remember, like, every day I'd go to that class, and I'd just, like, turn over to the guy next to me. I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. He's like, you don't pick up any of that? I'm like, why would I pick up any of that? She didn't explain what the fuck she's saying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And, and I got genuinely angry, and I remember, like, one time I tried to pull her aside and be like, I'm not following. And I'm because paying you. Because I don't know what words you're saying, and you're acting like I do. <laughs> uh, and she she was just like, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ended up stopping going to those classes, and I think that just was a bad foundation to ingrain in me, just being like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And here we are now. Try Duolingo, man. That shit's been awesome. That's something I should do. Uh, yeah. I, I've had it downloaded multiple times on different phones, but I've never actually put time into you it. You do it on your own to. time. You skip yeah. a day, and this little bird fucking screams at you and makes That's you feel That's what I've always bad. heard is, yeah, he like really is like genuinely just hurts your feelings if yeah, you miss it. Yeah, I, I feel like shit when I what? skip a lesson, and I'm like... What language are you learning, Zichem? Uh, German. I think it is going to really help with my stream. <laughs> You're you know, that was my thing in, in high school. All right, you're like, <laughs> you, you, you have die to take you can, like, you can scream in German, it's such an angry language. You can... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want to go off on like a, like a five minute tangent of just like nobody understands what I'm saying, but it sounds like really fucking angry. <laughs> you're learning a difficult, yes. brutalist language yeah. for the meme. On yes, <laughs> I think you're at a higher intelligence quotient than most people i've always thought that about you yeah we Whatever. think german is really funny yeah <laughs>
Uh, but yeah, you... I remember in, in high school, you know, you had to take mandatory languages. Yeah. And I was all like, I'll take French, dude. I got like a background in history uh, of, or like a background of French ancestry and stuff. I'll, yeah, I'll take French. One of those kids. And I was like, I'll never need to learn no Spanish. Like, <laughs> yeah, never going to mess with those people. Yeah. And then you moved to Mexico. <laughs> Why did you move to Mexico again? What was the? I grew up in Tennessee and it's like the complete opposite. Mm. Like Mexico City is. It's got like 22 Wait, did million you, people. Did in you it. move to Mex I did you move to Mexico? I figured you like fell in love and moved to Mexico. Uh -oh. Did you just I move No, I I had a I had a good friend here that I knew and so I knew I wouldn't like just be like nothing. But right. I was all like, man, I just like fuck Tennessee. What the hell am I doing? I work at Cracker Barrel. I'm a fucking goddamn idiot. All I do is play Daisy. And uh Oh, you moved to Mexico and all I did is play Daisy. Yeah, yeah, well, basically. Yeah, and, yeah. and now I don't work at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> yeah, that was my thing. Like, I didn't have any plans of what the fuck I'd do here. I never even, like, thought about Twitch with that. But yeah, I was all like, most of my friends moved to Seattle. They did some stuff. I really thought about moving to Seattle, and I just kind of got in my head. I was like, why Why would I just move across the country when I could do something else? I just was like a miserable dude. Didn't have anything going on. I was, And, like, the big epiphany I had was I realized I had nothing holding me there. I was like, I don't I'm not close to my family. I'm not in debt. I don't they don't have like a wife or a kid that I'm stuck here with. I was like, so if I hate myself, why am I here? So and yeah, then, I spent a couple of months at, saving up money and then I just left. You looked at rent. Didn't know in, what the fuck I was gonna Seattle. do here, but then it started streaming and it worked. <laughs> and then you looked at rent in Mexico City and you're Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> I think I'll go to Mexico City. Yeah, <laughs> that is really sure. fucking brave, man. I'm I'm having anxiety just thinking about like taking a trip to Iceland in a year or two or something cuz <laughs> you're just like fuck it, I'll move to Mexico. Dude, we gonna we gonna buddy up, Zicham? I want to go to Iceland. I don't want to fucking go to Iceland with you. Nah, it'll be great. <laughs> Last thing I want to do. <laughs> nah, I'll go to Iceland. Just me, me, me and you, Zicham. Let's do it. This is like a I'll me. Go. This is like a me and 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 the Can fiance thing. <laughs> you should I'll be a wingman. Go. I'll be a wingman. By the end of this thing, she'll like you, dude. Those because flights, I'll be so unlikable. That those she flights will... to Iceland are like dirt fucking cheap. Those things are like yeah, 150 bucks. You just I went a few years that. ago. Yeah, really? it's great. Yeah, I went in like no, 2016. You're not invited because then you're gonna be like, oh, wait until you see this. That's great. <laughs> you're gonna be like that person that's seen the movie already. Guys, going, hey, pay attention. This is cool. Oh, uh, you gotta get this. This is yeah. delicious. I've had it. Yeah. Before. Don't you want a guy to tell you where the good stuff is? No, yeah. no, I don't. Who, who showed you where the good stuff was? It's a tiny island. The, the good stuff's right there. Just go get it. It's, it's like pretty good. Three, you should yeah. definitely go. It's amazing. Yeah. It is genuinely tiny, though. I flew mm. over Iceland in Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> You've basically you been can... there, too. You're not invited, either. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, like, you could memorize that country if you wanted to. Like, I yeah. flew over it for, like, 10 minutes. And after, like, cruising altitude, like, you could see the other side. And I was all There's like... one road, isn't it? Just one... Yeah. It's like yeah, one yeah. circle. There's I one was like, city. Holy shit! Did you see that? It Iceland blew my mind. A, uh, they got like a phone app for for like before you date somebody to check if they're like your second cousin or some shit because of how small Iceland is. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. terrifying. Might fuck your sister. Yeah, Pornhub yeah. in Iceland must be abysmal. <laughs> then <laughs> those videos might Sam. Yeah. You know, that's you where it started. started. Yeah. yeah, but if I back. if I grew up in Iceland, it's like a not a good thing. <laughs> like the whole point is in America, the is that you can fuck anybody, there. and they're not related to you, but you choose <laughs> to fuck your. And then right. over there, it's like everybody's related, and so you have to find that one. The taboo thing is to fuck someone that's not related. So here's here's the loophole for you when browsing next time. Just be you could be like. Let me. Do you have an Icelandic ID? Yeah. <laughs> and if they show that they're, you're like, all right. I know I'm not related. That's the yeah. that's the level of immersion that uh, I could get into. Mm. Three hundred fifty-seven thousand people live in Iceland. That's it. That's insane. Yeah, at some point you gotta run out of people to have sex with, right? Like <laughs> at some point, everyone's yeah. related. How that's long? Question, I've never. That's a question I've never and, thought about. And At it's super. Point, you gotta run out of people to have sex with. Yeah, it's, like, 
At some and point, it's... everyone's kids will share the same fucking grandparents. Like, no, I mean, you as a but as you an always individual. have tourists coming in. Oh, you as yeah. an individual, yeah, you as an individual eventually will run out of people to have sex with. <laughs> and you know, the tourists are more Z Chum sets that number at eight hundred and fifty thousand. <laughs> Z Chum is basically Genghis Khan. Yeah. But he's like, <laughs> I will. I, Iceland, he's going like... to Iceland. <laughs> He's going to bomb the airport, and he's going to say, you guys have nowhere left to hide, and I will have sex with each and every one of you (laughs) before I leave this place. He looks upon the population, and he's like, None of you be just like here. I'll form just like a perfect, Daisy. A perfect... He's gonna go along the beach, making sure people aren't leaving on rafts and just attacking every every fresh body in sight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. At some point, I will run out. <laughs> yes. It's so hot. You cannot. I am inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> A perfect Z-chum race <laughs> will be born out of the Atlantic population. Everybody, everybody comes out talking in his weird, slow cadence. All of his descendants. <laughs> the whole island horrible. nation of me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, like, it's like impossible to immigrate there, too. It's like really? super hard. Yeah. So they, they like to keep it real tight. They don't got anywhere. If they, I feel like they'd have a horrible homeless population if they just allowed anyone to immigrate. You got to run out of room to build houses at some point, right? Yeah. I thought. No, I thought. I thought you got um. If you any were like, homeless people there? Fuck that. I thought like bachelors <laughs> and stuff were invited over there a lot. Like they had like uh some shit for them to move over. I think that's like Greenland or or Norway or some shit. Hmm. Cause I, I feel like if you just allow people into your very cold and harsh environment and they have no idea like what they're going to do when they get there and they don't speak the language, they're just going to end up like dead in a in a hot spring or something. I was about to say, you were the one that was just saying there's going to be a homeless problem in, a, in an island where if you sit outside, you die of exposure well, yeah, very, very like, quickly. There, I feel like they'll all make like tent cities in like that. They're one major city, right? And they won't have yeah. anywhere to go because it's just snow everywhere. They made that in LA. And the weather's great there. <laughs> they still have ten, tent city. Mm. Uh, you, ever, uh, you ever like... I saw this video on YouTube... It's like Skid Row at like 2 a.m. or something. This dude just walking through Skid Row around. with a camera. My yeah. boys in Vancouver, the one that were like the ones that I watch. Yeah. yeah, the guys that just walk around just doing like a look. That yeah. guy's gonna it's... kill me. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, the end of the Skid Crazy. Row video is always just end with the camera getting yanked out of the guy's hand, <laughs> <laughs> and then that's what you're waiting for the whole time. But no, <laughs> it, it doesn't happen typically. But yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, what a... Oh, wait, oh, I wanted to say something. While you were talking about the whole, like, different languages and, and, like, you're living in Mexico and unable to speak the language and you're basically just alone on this planet, um, I was... <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Based. about... Bizzle, uh, Bizzle Snap was telling me when he was in, uh, when he was in Japan, he w- uh, did I tell you this already, Aqua? When he was in Japan, he was at, like, a cafe and uh-huh. his friend was there and they didn't speak any Japanese. And so he was like, yeah, I'm, I would like a Coca-Cola, please. And the waitress was like, I have no idea what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> and so he's like, a Coca-Cola, like a drink. And she was like, I don't I don't know what a Coca-Cola is. And so he's sitting there and he's like, I think this is going to be racist. <laughs> and so he said Coca-Cola like you would if you were like a racist Asian impression. He's uh-huh. like, uh, I would like a Coca-Cola. And she was like, oh, Coca-Cola. <laughs> She was like, oh, why didn't you say so, dumbass? Instantly got him a Coca-Cola. And he was like, because he did this. Like, apparently he went like, I would like a... <laughs> making sure there's Coca-Cola. no other... Yeah, making sure there's no other Japanese people in Japan. <laughs> I would like a coca cola And they were like, oh, of course. Why didn't you say so, dummy? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Just say it to me. <laughs> That's so pretty now funny. that's how Bizzle talks to every Asian person, regardless. Of... <laughs> Listen, <laughs> he's just when, trying yeah. to get the point. Of... He can't blame. Oh, he talks to his girlfriend. She's like, first of all, I'm from Singapore, and second of all, 
I speak English fine. You don't have to talk to me. Like <laughs> yeah. It's nice, nice Bizzle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even here to do his monotone defense of himself that he usually does under whatever I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I'll just drag his name through the dirt and he'll just be under me just going, oh, you know, I don't do that, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Singapore Come to the on. dream. If I ever become a real streamer and not what I am now, that's that's the play. Is Singapore? Yeah. You know, I think I think it's in Singapore, like every place has a bomb shelter underneath it. Like every building has a bomb shelter underneath it. Singapore big target? Uh apparently it's cause like the what's the what nation is it right under? <laughs> uh it's like yeah, attached on the tip of the thing too. I honestly don't even know. Yeah. I know it's just sitting at the tip of that peninsula, but uh, yeah, what's that country there? Any 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 geopolitical people here? No. No. I think it's uh I play video games for a living. So. I, think, I think it's Papua New Guinea. <laughs> so they're they're always concerned that those uncontacted tribes of Papua New Guinea are gonna invade Singapore. And so they It they is not Papua shell. New Guinea. No, I know. Because I, I flew New out Guinea. of Papua New Guinea on flight simulator for a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I tried to actually fly to Singapore from yeah. Papua New Guinea and I had to make multiple stops. It's oh, it's a quite a, quite a big dis distance. You yeah, learned a lot from that game. So much. I yeah, really did. That's how yeah. Ducky gauges distances now based on how far it is. It's the real world, Z Chum. <laughs> Malaysia. There you go. Yeah, they're apparently they're concerned because Malaysia wants them to be because they have like a GDP far higher than the rest mm -hmm. of Malaysia in its entirety because yeah. it's such a huge port city. And so Malaysia's looking down at them going, hmm, there's could, not many just people take in that. that little place. Just I am like. so ashamed to say that the only thing I know about Malaysia is uh, that the Mugatu, <laughs> Mugatu <laughs> wanted to kill the prime minister. Yeah. That's all I know. I'm so <laughs> pathetic, dude. I need to play some flight simulator. Let me tell you. Yeah. Learn a thing or two. But That's like how I Singapore... choose to educate myself on the world is by looking down on people from a <laughs> the airplane. Yeah. Singapore, like, they speak English because yeah. I'm clearly not learning any languages. And then, in addition to that, they just passed the thing to where, like, they're officially going to sell lab-grown meat. Fuck yeah, dude. That's sick. And mm. they have, like, a floating Apple store. And it's just pretty much, like, any, like, new age futuristic shit that goes down, it's in Singapore first. And I'm wanting to live in a goddamn cyberpunk future, unlike Aqua, who wants to live in, like, fucking the 80s. And, and I'm there. I want, I want like the everything hey, I can get. I want to live in the fucking Shire. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, a medieval I think, peasant. <laughs> I don't think you really grasp just how expensive it is to live in Singapore. Oh, like, well, believe me. Like I said, if I ever became like a real guy, and by yeah. a real guy, I mean I need to be like a big boy. Um, because, yeah, that's it's not it's happening. It's so expensive. I feel like Elon Musk would be like, at a restaurant, like looking at his wife, like, please stop ordering. Appetizers. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this yes. is a very expensive restaurant. If you could not, that would be great. Yeah, that place is like next level expensive. Yeah, I don't think you really I don't need think to get the lobster. Really, ever gonna happen. I think but, it's, uh, you know, it's up there with Tokyo dreams. for being the highest real estate prices <clears throat> per square foot, uh, highest uh, price per square foot, or something. It's up there. There I was learned a guy that in my from... Discord that lived in Singapore, and his family was super rich, and he sounded like he was British. His dad just did, like, lots of business or something. Oh, of and, course. That's uh, probably the richest business. guy in your entire Discord. <laughs> oh, he could buy the Discord ten times over. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm Honestly, poor, I'm willing I'm to sell it for $4. I, I just want to get rid of it for <laughs> seven years. Like... What? What? In <laughs> I said I'm 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 poor as shit, and I lived in Dubai for seven years. So, oh, you did? I don't think it's that much of an indicator. Hmm. Wait, you really live in Dubai? Yeah. Wait, what? I thought you were acting like the guy from his Discord. Huh? What? Wait, I'm so confused. Did Z Chum live in Dubai, or are you just talking as if you were the guy from no, I, Sam's no, Discord? I, yeah, I lived in Dubai. What? Yeah. You know that place is built by slaves, right? I'm aware. And you were and you were I didn't a white have a choice. Man, once I was, again living uh, off infant. of the, the labor of slaves. <laughs> I, I was a mm. child who didn't really have a say in it. Mm. <laughs> Likely story. Yeah. Uh from like a week old until like eight. <laughs> 
in, in, until like 9-11 happened around that like that that's time. like before dubai was dubai yeah. That's when Dubai you was know, like just be largely a bunch of desert and a couple of buildings. Being Not to brag, out there. but I was definitely uh, in Dubai before it was cool. <laughs> Dubai <laughs> hipster, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that must suck because they, they say like one of the worst things in the world is to be in a town and then you leave it for 10 years and then you come back and you realize how much it's changed. Yeah, with Dubai, to... it was like just fucking sand and now you go yeah. back and it's like the richest. And they got that floating restaurant and the, the fucking the tennis court that is glass yeah. bottomed. I, you get we to see left, the nobodies under you. We left like around the time they made like an indoor snow like skiing place or some shit. Mm. How old were you when you left? I knew you were saying like around I I was so young when we left that when my dad went to go get me a passport, I must have been like months old. My dad went to go get me like a passport and he didn't have a photo of me because I was a stupid fucking baby. Uh, and he's like, at, where do you get passports? Like the post office or something? Yeah. He's there getting a passport for me and he gets up there and they're like, you need a photo of of this person and he's like it's a baby like I, I don't have a photo and they're like i'm sorry we can't give you a passport my dad like gets out of the line goes to some guy in the back of the line he's like you got a photo of a baby and he bought a photo of a baby off some guy in the back of the line and he gets back up there and he's like here's my son it's, it's a baby like what the no, that's like, awesome like, Dude, your the dad, there's a reason why your dad was in dubai doing business because he's got <laughs> weird ass fucking thinking outside the box someone's got a picture of their dumb ass kid in this line and boom and yeah. he just we, how did we you not dubai. get stopped at customs with like that's obviously not it was a baby, baby, man. Old babies fucking look the same. I was like months old. They're all like little pudgy, yeah. like. So you don't have memory of Dubai. I do. I I got. I was old enough. Have when you we been left. back? No, I'd like to, but now that it's like <laughs> stupid rich. That's the, insane. That's the, like, crazy. The American though. housing we lived in there, that's still there. I've I've checked that out on Google Earth, and that was like a massive hit of nostalgia seeing that. Okay, um, so is your dad like a is your dad like a, a diplomat or no, is he, was he like a DOD? He, he, was, he did air traffic control for... Oh, okay. Yeah. So Ronald Reagan... I was going to say, is he, is he like a fired, millionaire? Or? No, Ronald Reagan fired all the uh, air traffic controllers in the 80s because they went on strike, mm -hmm. right? And then uh, he, they, he wasn't allowed to work in the U.S. because of that because they went on strike. They're not allowed to go on strike. Reagan barred them all from working in the U.S. But the U.S. government was like, we still need <clears> you guys, though. And we've got these... Like, we've got some airfields in the Middle East that still need, like trained air traffic controllers and dubai was like a fairly safe place to take his his family so i mean How? they're gonna need a lot of airfields with some air traffic controllers <laughs> in a couple of years yeah How? How much does an air traffic controlman make if you're willing to yank up your entire family and you move make them a, out to you dubai? make a lot working overseas yeah like air yeah. traffic controllers are supposed to be a job that you can get without like an insane amount of education that is like you super high dollars, dad, isn't stupid it? Dumb, it's, 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 like, it's, I remember I read some stats on it. Is like yeah, yeah. Compared it, to most it takes jobs a lot that you of training. That kind of money, it is. Yeah, it takes a ton of training, but it's cheap training. It, not saying it's not yeah. like very intensive and like difficult because yeah. you're in charge of like millions of lives every year. Right? Exactly. Yeah. They say but it's the most stressful job out yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. That. Yeah. That's, that's why one they, of the that's why they the went airport. on strike and that's why Reagan fucking fired them all was because they were yeah. all, they were all working like twenty hour days. Yeah. Like the Air Force, that's what they want. That's what a lot of people want for a job is to do like that kind of stuff. That way, when they get out of the military, they can go to like a more civilian sector of air traffic controllers. But it's supposed to be like the highest suicide rate because it's so stressful. You guys ever yeah. see Breaking Bad? Yes. <laughs> that's, I was just I was just thinking quietly Dude, to myself. Like the only thing I know about that is from Breaking Bad. I was watching Breaking I, all Bad. All I know is my, from movies and TV. I was I'm such Breaking a Bad with my dad <laughs> a couple years ago. Whenever Breaking Bad was like the thing, right? Like 2009 or something. I'm watching Breaking Bad with my dad. The air traffic controller guy, that whole like segment of Breaking Bad, the whole time my dad's like, "That yeah, that's that they kill themselves a lot." They do that. <laughs> like, I get it, Dad. I know you. <laughs> why, why? Why would they kill themselves if it's? it's I mean, unless you have some like horrible thing where you're like two seven forty sevens. You're okay to land, and then they. 
Cause I think they it's cool. like every day you're up there, man. Yeah, and you're yeah, like yeah. making these decisions on having this plane go mm. around on that amount of fuel and this plane land and make sure this and... plane doesn't run to that plane. It, like I stress out when I like, when I realized that, yeah, like I didn't cancel my subscription last month on something <laughs> I meant to cancel. And it's pretty but, regular that they deal with like people dying because every time a plane crashes, like they're in communication with some sort of air traffic tragedy. controller. Yeah. So yeah. anytime a tragedy happens, some air traffic controller deals with it. So, I, yeah, but you would think like suicide rates among surgeons has to, has to be pretty low, and they literally have their their life in their hands. You would think that at some point they would uh, dehumanize them. You'd think at some point there'd be so some sort of support or or, or <laughs> training for that added, and then Ronald yeah. Reagan fires you all for asking for it. So, yeah. I think it would be pretty easy to sit there and say that the ground people are worth a lot more than the the sky people. <laughs> when you when you when you leave the earth, and it's not up to me whether or not you come crashing back down or if you glide gently onto this airstrip. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, as long as you return to the ground, I'm fine with it. I don't care how it happens. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, anyways, Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> Happy well, holidays. Well, what I was, I was actually gonna say, instead of ending it, I was gonna say, uh, first of all, next time you should bring your dad. He seems far more interesting than you. And second of all, Aqua's <laughs> podcast—he he fucking said four words through the, through the <laughs> entire <laughs> thing. He's eating his sandwich. He doesn't He's have just time to talk. There with I was big hungry, ass dude. Fucking vein on his forehead, looking like a it looks like a Lincoln log up there. It's not Take my podcast. Forehead. I'm just on it. And you know, I felt like being a little more quiet today. Mm. And shorter. Yeah. Before we end it, what what are y'all's plans for for Christmas? Oh, with um, the the illness around. I'm gonna I'm gonna see my brother and I per I bought him uh an autographed uh script of clerks by like Kevin Smith. Mm. And I'm going to give that to him and then uh give him some food to take home and then he's gonna be on his merry way. You should give him an autographed VTuber holographic. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should sell the, 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 the Kevin Smith thing. Yeah. Cool ass Those fucking be worth a lot. Things. I give some props yeah, to that. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I've that's, never that's watched Clerks, one. but like, I understand that a lot of people care. Well, that's yeah. like it was his favorite movie when he was growing up, and that's what he like made me watch when I was in like high school or something. I don't know. That's sick, yeah. Nice. Hmm. What about nice. you, Chum? I'm going to stream myself playing video games. Uh, really breaking the mold. No Thank plans you. for a girlfriend? Thank you. Uh, no, all, both of our collective families have uh, f fucked off out of New York. Mm -hmm. so Which is good, because you get the coof anyways. Yeah, and plus I think I'm sick. So yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Uh, Christmas Eve we're going to go get tested. And so Christmas I'm probably just going to stream myself playing video games. I mean, the American thing to do would be to go see your family, though. Yes, to go yeah. and f to go spread the illness on as a plane. far and wide <laughs> as I can. To just completely oh. ignore anybody else's health and just <laughs> to just get down to Florida to see the parents. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Aqua, that's my you? plan. You got anything? Uh, well, yeah, I'm probably just going to hang around with my family because as far as I know... I don't have COVID, thankfully. And also, my life is kind of like everybody loves Raymond now. I don't know if you've noticed, but my sister is often making surprise appearances on my streams and stuff because she's home. My parents live very close by, and uh, I see them all the time now, which is great. So that's nice. We get it. You have a loving family that yeah. Yeah, that wants to see you, Aqua. God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. What about I'm, you, Sam? Uh, yeah, you know, I got uh, a daughter's two now. So it's, you know, as you get older, Christmas starts to suck more and more. And, yeah. uh, you know, as you're an adult, but having kids, it kind of, you can put a lot of effort into making the sure they have awesome Christmases. Yeah, the magic comes back, right? Yeah, the magic comes back. So my daughter's old enough now that she, she doesn't quite get that Christmas is coming, but she knows Santa Claus and she knows tree. And she's like, hmm, things under tree. Can I open this? <laughs> she's like, what's this? And I'm like, so this year is going to be like the magic, but next year is going to be the anticipation. So I really got to set the bar low so that next year's <laughs> better. 
but so we got her some shit, but we didn't get we didn't go all out. But yeah, we've been doing like the cookies. We make cookies, and then she helps and fucking just throws flour all over the floor, and then you're just you're holding back that elbow that she's standing up on a a, a fucking you know like a little stool. And she's just, it's like at the top of a skyscraper for her. It's like three times her height. And you're just like, dude, you, I saw you just throw the flower on the ground and you just want to, <laughs> and then, but you don't because you're a loving dad. And then you make the cookies and then you help her decorate. And she puts fucking icing all over the newly upholstered dining room chairs. And you just want to fucking, ah! but, but besides all that, you know, we've been just doing regular Christmas stuff. Lots of decorating cookies, lots of wrapping up fucking stupid tricycles and shit for her, stuff like that. Nothing for fun. us. Amazing. Yeah, we haven't. There's absolutely nothing under the tree for me and Abby. <sighs> not, like, yet. not yet. Not yet. Santa's yeah. still coming, Sam. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was. I was gonna ask, and I think yeah. I mean, Sam's the only one with the actual kid. Uh, Isn't that I don't scary? know. Z-chums you guys all or... seem like more responsible humans <laughs> than me. I think that's the opposite. Uh. You give I, off. We all know a vibe. kids coming from Aqua any minute now. That, mm. that's I don't know. Going. Honestly, I'm not too interested in having any kids, man. He's, he's I, not a year. Honestly, I I am not excited about it. We have actually been calling into question whether or not his penis works, and because <laughs> he hasn't had them yet. I think just to prove <laughs> for everybody <laughs> here, I don't have kids. Yeah. Completely non-functional the, penis. Get that thing hard for us the right only, now. Show it on stream. <laughs> to us. The you only possible explanation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. Man, you what a sleuth no, you are. You, you, really you got a real city slicker uh, fiance because she's all like, "Oh, I'm worried about my career. I'll do yeah. kids later." She's putting off that shit. We're I, city I went slickers. Out, I got me a Southern Belle. She was in like fucking sophomore year of high school she was like you know we could have kids <laughs> it's like could you hold it off for like a year <laughs> maybe two like, <laughs> she was she was hankering for it man yeah yeah and neither of us like some of our friends have kids and we just like they just seem so miserable honestly oh yeah yeah that's there and we're just sitting there and watching from the outside like a, fr a friends of ours have they have twins they got two of them and they, they just look like they're about to burst into tears whenever, whenever we see them, honestly. And, like, yeah. we I, just are I like, I, you noon. know, I we're not in fucking, a super rush. I, I sleep till, like, 1 p.m. I can't wake up and take care of a fucking kid. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> well, how old are these twins? They're, uh, like, two and a half, maybe. Yeah, they, they start to get they're cool terrible around twos. then. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a whole lot better then. When you don't yeah. have to actually just watch everything they do. How old is Madeline now? She's Three? Like two, it's two and a half. Mm. Yeah, same. Actually, yeah, that's right. They were born around the same time. Yeah. Yeah, and now all they do is throw their shitty pants in the wash. Yeah. <laughs> she does. Yeah. She does crap like that where she's like, I'm done with the cereal. And she'll go throw the entire cereal bowl in the garbage with the spoon. <laughs> And then she'll... I still do that. <laughs> I do that all the time. And... I throw forks away like it's my job. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Just crap like that, but they they get a whole lot more manageable when they're not out to kill themselves, which is what babies are really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're just on suicide watch, which is annoying. All right, but I highly I highly recommend. No, I'm gonna keep this thing going. No, uh, yeah, 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 I got no, questions. No, no. Dude. No, 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 like, I'm sick. So I'm so so to go. Go. Where you gotta go? This, this poor fucking guy. It's gonna be like Merry Christmas, Solly. Here's. Two and a half hours of Sam talking about shit. We gotta yeah. wrap it up. <laughs> I've never met this Solly guy. I have a feeling he's probably gonna cut me out of most of this. So it's fine. <laughs> Look, we got we no, had we... some good conversations. Okay, <laughs> this it was good. We <laughs> An important no, no, no. question. Though. Well, what do you what do you have to do for the rest of the day? I feel like you're you got a shit brewing or you got like an important work. I schedule? gotta cut this down. <laughs> I gotta fuck. I gotta get it preemptively sent to Solly. You have two sets of editors. This is some good stuff it's we like got going on, though. Long. It's like six of us in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, Decky? Go. I'm going to. The question is I'm gonna give Sam's you the only floor. one that can actually say it, but I grew up never believing in Santa Claus. My parents were like, no, that shit's not real. It's bullshit. Don't believe the other kids. It's horrible. But they were like, <laughs> oh my God. But don't ruin it for the other kids. If they believe in Santa, just shut up. Yep. Because we put your presents out. And to me, growing up, I, 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 like, I resent a lot of things my parents did to me as a kid. 
Um, but I don't, I don't argue with that. I'm glad I knew that Santa was some bullshit. You guys plan on telling your kids are Santa's real? Is I mean, clearly, le- clearly Sam's in on it. Is that a leather Santa hat? This? No, it's, I, I don't know. This I, Tawny hat for some reason. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, it's it's an extra shiny, but it's definitely not leather. It's shiny. Okay, it looks, I got you. I feel like the costume that goes with that hat is very, uh... It's a sexy yeah. Santa. It, yeah. It's probably, it's <laughs> pro- yeah, it's probably her costume, yeah. Um, <laughs> very suggestive. <laughs> but yeah, what is, what is y'all's plan with the Santa thing? Because I feel like 2020 and on, I feel like it would be almost become the norm not to do the whole Santa thing. Am I totally wrong? Just because yeah, I'm not a Santa it, child? Uh, life is bleak and shitty. Let the kids at Let least have kids, a couple yeah. years of, oh, there's a guy that comes down and gives you presents for no reason. He's not trying to rape you or anything. Like, just <laughs> one nice person on this fucking planet. Let him yeah. have that. Yeah. Let him have the one nice guy that does is just completely selfless with his stupid reindeer. That and- shit as a kid is absolutely poggers, uh, yeah. dude. You can't take that from that. <laughs> before I'm kids like, are I don't know that. That, that, like, it that. bothers me. Because I don't hate that I didn't believe in him, but like, I guess I'm just totally missing something special. Yeah, you're weird. Yeah. Your mom, yeah, you remember, she collected like rodent bodies or something? <laughs> you definitely yeah. missed out on, on yeah. some, some real magic. Yeah. That By the shit way, if is Santa so Claus was awesome. real... Me and Aqua would be, I think, the only people that get... Oh, wait, no, you said you own a house, too. That, that's horrifying thing. This guy's breaking in. First of all, he's coming down my chimney, <laughs> landing his big sled on my fucking roof, which is new. I think you're fucking up my shingles. Coming down my chimney, bringing all this soot and shit, tracking it through my house just to drop off some uh, $200 worth of presents. Just to Did drop $4,000 worth of damage to my house <laughs> on the way in. <laughs> and kids are like, oh, this is great! But that's just a testament to how stupid kids are. They don't understand that, like... There's you a fucking hole a, in the roof You can now. have six <laughs> horses and a uh, sled on top of your roof. <laughs> it's bad for Let's it. all agree, you would do Santa. I'm going to yeah. spring a leak in that thing. <laughs> I would do Santa? Hell yeah. I mean, I'm not planning to have Baby Decky anytime soon, but I've thought about it before. I'm like, if I you had know, a kid, You would raise a kid that wouldn't be able to speak the language you speak. Of course you shouldn't have fucking kids. Move back to Tennessee <laughs> if you're going to have kids. <laughs> raise a kid that's gonna go to mexican schools he's gonna come home and be like who are you dad who are you i don't know you <laughs> yeah huge um, language barrier that yeah. you'll have a kid and wear a sexy santa costume i'm looking at you guys for advice on my child okay do and let i them appreciate have something the nice the dude the my santa. kid will believe in santa claus mm-hmm. i i think you should yeah I, Provide your be, children with things that you weren't provided as a child. That'll That's be true. fun. Yeah, I probably should do everything the opposite of how I was raised. Yeah. Don't pick up roadkill. Yeah, do not Tell cut them up about Santa. Do not move don't, to Mexico. <laughs> don't pee in bottles in the attic either. Yeah. <laughs> Believe in Santa. Well, honestly, it bit. seems like fun, you know, to like tell your kids about all that shit and be like, yeah, there's this fucking... I- that, like, <laughs> for me, even like fuck the kid like that'd be a blast just keep it yeah on some giant fucking lie yeah exactly mm-hmm. lying is great <laughs> it's a ton that of fun it's the is only fun you kid. get in life did you really guys get lying. hit hard when you learned about santa like oh, yeah. did it fuck you well, up a bit yeah i came I, to the conclusion on my own i, I, so I learned really. i kind of le- learned at a young age and I, I started really suspecting it, right? Like everyone starts as you get just a little bit older. You start here and like what's a little bit older, like around eight school, or twelve. I, dude, I have such a bad memory. I don't fucking yeah, like eight. Children I would ages. say I don't know, but I started like getting cued in, and then my parents like I I kind of knew in my heart that there wasn't a magic man that comes down my chimney and gives me presents. I kind of knew it, but just having your parents like reaffirm it by saying like. You know they're not. You know Santa's not real, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know, but like, it still hurts. I want a kid now just to see how long I can make him believe that shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, like properly years old. get paid actors properly, <laughs> like get like 
have like some Decky, sound things like, mind the fuck where, like, makes big thudding sounds. His kid into thinking that a, <laughs> yeah. a man really he's breaks like in. He's like 18 and he's like loses his virginity. He's like, Santa's real. Just <laughs> Truman <laughs> show this kid. Just like really, really get it done. Yeah. But my neighbors did that shit for their kids. And they like, when I was a kid, my neighbor I was friends with them and he's like, dude, look what I found. And my neighbors had gone out with like hoof prints in the snow. Jesus. And they looked like, like, they like chewed on some carrots and threw them on the ground and they were like santa's been here they used their skis to like make sleigh fucking marks in the snow yeah and I, I was so convinced that we like took those fucking carrots and put them in a bag and i was like i'm gonna get these dna analyzed or some <laughs> shit and i like i locked them away and i forgot about them for like two years and then i found this like moldy fucking bag <laughs> <laughs> of like rancid carrots uh, just like in yeah my i figured room, it out like... my my dad basically like he'd go down eat a couple cookies drink half the milk like clog the downstairs toilet that was about it <laughs> and like you know i just kind of no, no presents no presents just he just eat the cookies <laughs> stick his shit, not there's your present you little bitch <laughs> we, we appease santa so he doesn't kill us in our sleep yeah. <laughs> Your present no. is you got something to break up with your morning piss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, if you could, see if you could scrape that off the side there, would you? <laughs> oh, shit. No, my parents were like, uh, my mom one year was like, oh, Sam's old enough. He realizes Santa's not real. I was not old enough. I wasn't there. <laughs> and because I was a stupid, naive kid. I think I was like, I was in elementary school. It was pretty late in elementary school, though. And, and she, um, Usually Santa brought the presents unwrapped. This time, like, on, like, the, the 18th of December, all of a sudden presents started showing up under the tree that were wrapped that said, To Sam from Santa. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> she was like, no, like, these are the ones that Santa would usually bring you. And, and I, I wrapped them up early and everything. And I was like, what? Like, what the fuck? He, like, came early this year or something? <laughs> She's like, no, he doesn't. Oh, you think he's still? That's what she said. You, oh, you what, think you, you still believe in Santa? <laughs> and I was like, well, not anymore. You fucking dumbass bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just because you and Dad got a divorce, like you just did no effort. You don't feel like because they would hide them in my grandma's attic, and then my dad would go get them. And she's like, I ain't getting up in that fucking attic. Like, <laughs> Santa's over. Mm. Like we got divorced. Santa is over now. So dad was, which is weird because the Jewish guy in the family was the source of Santa in my, in my life. I just realized that. Yeah. The same year, same year that goddamn Sam's realizing Santa's not real. I'm admitting to masturbating all year long to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> all year long? It was like, you just, I thought it, it was had been just like built once. up. Like it had been yeah. built up a long time that like I had been diddling and. Yeah. And like it, it weighed. I remember like the holiday season came and it just weighed on my soul. I was like, I have been sinning. Oh, and you, I was like, I got to get this out there. When did you? When did you stop buying into the whole uh, religious thing? Are you still religious? Oh no 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 no. Uh, that that that's been like a. Honestly, I've thought about that a lot. That's like a. That's an entire another podcast. No, no, no. Um, Zichum wants us to really Zichum wrap wants up to this keep going, topic. Yeah. yeah, he wants us talking. Yeah, yeah, that, that's an entire other thing. But that is, that had been a, like a very long, slow thing all through my twenties. Oh. Um, of kind of like I don't know. That was my coming of age story. Not when I was like fourteen or anything. My coming of age story happened when I was in my twenties. That's all, guys. Guys don't want to admit it, but we really just finished growing up at like twenty five. We're like, True. oh, we're adults now. I feel now. like I'm yeah. just on the precipice of finally becoming an adult. Yeah. Uh, I'm top 26. It was weird, like, I'm straight just... up 25. Like, my mind snapped. I was like, bills and taxes. Yeah. And responsibility. That's what builds character. But yeah. I, I, I feel like I'm the only guy. Everybody makes fun of the story of Noah and the Ark. But I feel like I was like in elementary school and they were telling that story i was like this is fucking retarded this is the dumbest story <laughs> there's no way this is real there's no way he fit that many and that's like the oldest like trope thing to make fun of in the bible but i'm like even then i was a kid and i was like that is that's not happening he is not he did not go and get fucking animals from south america and cram them on a boat that didn't happen don't I even thought, lie to me 
I thought Sam was about to come in about like he could relate to Noah because he wanted to build an ark with his own fucking two I hands or something. So, no, Twenty-five. I thought, we I thought it was going to be complete opposite of him uh, being all like out of all the stupid Bible stories. Uh, no, that's no one. Yeah, I thought that too. <laughs> Wasn't there some like organization that claimed they found it in like? The fucking Dead Sea or some they've shit. They said they found it a million times yeah, on top yeah. of a mountain in the Dead Sea. All this and other shit. And every time yeah. they find it, it's like some old fucking like Roman schooner or some shit. And, and, and it's there, like, there was headlines at the Tallahassee Democrat. They they were like, "Oh, we found the Garden of Adam and Eve. It's down here at Wakulla Springs." <laughs> <laughs> really? You think they? You think it happened? Come on down and get yourself a T-shirt. These people fucking hang out at Wakulla Springs, cross the very <laughs> straight back ass words and then make it to the middle east to write the bible fuck off <laughs> no that's not how it happened don't lie mm. to me i've been to wakala springs that place ain't it no adam and eve would have been eaten by an alligator day three Man, I don't lie to me last time i was in florida there was this place that said it was like the fountain of youth or some shit uh, yeah that's the other one that they think's here yeah too. i went in there and they, they handed me a cup and they were like go for it and i was like i can drink this so i assumed they're like filtering that water or something uh i got really fucking sick after <laughs> drinking that water that shit's straight from the aquifer man yeah, yeah. I, I was like this was a really fucking stupid mistake i just drank some <laughs> disgusting fucking yeah. like cholera ridden water from well that that's what happens when a young person drinks from the fountain of youth <laughs> <laughs> that's an old Jeez. man's game yeah you can't yeah. <laughs> He used the wrong cup, Zeechum. Have I you seen him be in the I was there. I must have been 24. I don't think I'm going to age past that now. I think I'm just <laughs> stuck. I think it's yeah. the cholera just, like, <laughs> stunting my growth now. <laughs> I remember I, I went up to where um, where Poob lives up in Indiana, and there was this, uh, this place called, like, Devil's Spring or something like that, and it's a spring that they thought was evil, and so they capped it with... Uh, like mercury or something like that. They did like a mercury cap on it. And then they built all this shit around it, like mosaic, weird building. And in the mosaic, there's swastikas everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> really strange. And this was built before like Nazism was a thing, right? Yeah. And and so now you go to it, but after the fact, it's hilarious. There's this place called like Devil Spring or something. Something to do with the devil. And then it's decorated with swastikas. It's very fitting. <laughs> And I'm like, but then, but apparently Poob's like, oh, they removed all those because it was too, like, evil and stuff. I'm like, well, it's called Devil's Spring. Like, <laughs> if anything, I would put more in there. Just have uh, them, what, like, what, tapestries like, hanging down. At what time period did they cap <laughs> this thing off that they thought it was so dangerous that, like... <laughs> it's... I don't know. It was, I, it was like, in the 1800s or something. They capped it for some reason. Just, they feared its power? <laughs> they yeah. Were, <laughs> we gotta fucking it. seal this yeah. shit up. You know, I don't know if you've spoken to Pooh, but people from Indiana aren't the brightest <laughs> bunch. It's not like, <laughs> these people aren't gonna split the atom A here. They're just like, let's, Indiana, like, we let's gotta pour fucking... concrete and mercury on this spring and put some swastikas around it, call it a done day. <laughs> <laughs> our, our only source of, like, fresh water supply. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's evil. Makes my pee clear. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> they all continue just drinking like fucking grog for the next hundred years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, this has been two hours twenty minutes. I'm done. I'm done. Right. Is oh, it? Now, now, done. now you say it's now okay. It's fucking to end. Done. We're I, done. I, I right. ran out of shit to talk about. Our guest all is right. done when he's tired on our yeah. podcast. <laughs> I need yeah. to go get some coffee. Yeah. I'm All exhausted right. from this. Thank you so much for watching The Gamer Hole. Just a quick reminder, if you uh, want to see some exclusive episodes, as well as behind the scenes and uncut versions of uh, the episodes you see here on YouTube, or if you just want to support The Gamer Hole, check us out on Patreon. It's linked in the description below. You get all kinds of fun little perks in there. So thanks again, and we'll see you in the next episode of The Gamer Hole. <laughs> <laughs>